All right, I'm all good. All right, everyone, we're getting into game one. Yeah, hop on, hop on. Hello everyone. Nice hit. At the chase button. Okay. What's your What's your policy on the masks for sitting down? Just wear them the whole time during commentary or? Yeah, all good. Um, I don't know. I can't, can't. I can't really hear it through my headphones, but I don't know if I'm meant to hear myself. I, yeah, I can't hear anything. Guys, guys, just sorting out the audio. There we go. Here we go. That's better. Everyone, what's up? How are we going? <laughs> All right, can you hear us both? All right, gamers, let us know. Yeah, let us know, please. In the meantime, we have a ditto of a sentry right now. Who So Catherine, fresh off of coming third in P plus yesterday, by the way. That's right. Playing Snake, no stranger to the item game. I was playing Peach against my Falco. Good on. Oh, she actually shot. played Peach. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Keep an eye out for the Raiders graphic that he's making. Oh yeah. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Dude, that uh, like placings generator is actually so sick. It's, it's very good, and I see it all the time. Now. It's just like, why not? Why not use it for everything now? Yeah, yeah like random, uh, random New York local pops <laughs> up on my Twitter feed. You're just like, oh, sick. I don't know any of these people, but now I know. But now I know they came at least top eight. I can turn you up. Alright, I can turn Raven up. Yeah, I've got a thick fucking mask on, so that might be it. Oh, ja it's that Jasper. Good. Yeah, 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 that's Jasper. He's in our hotel quarantine right now, eh? Hey. Where to? He's in Adelaide. Okay, sick. He's he, in the he actual came... hotel quarantine. Yeah, I think he... Came back from Falls Creek? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just Victoria in general, I guess. But yeah. I don't know. We've got a good vibe in the venue at the moment. Oh my god, the crash cancel on the jabs? Yes. I mean, Catherine should know better, like. Yeah, honestly. She does exactly the same thing. <laughs> I 
Ben likes to like swing at a disadvantage. Well, I suppose both of these players do, but I feel like you just gotta wait that extra beat if you wanna open her up. I'm just wondering why the game audio sounds a bit louder in the left ear. I didn't even notice. I could be going crazy, but... I I get that all the time. I'm listening to music or like... It's like... Why am I... Like... It should, even though like sometimes I set my sound to hear like the same out of both ears. Like it's like, why does one... <laughs> one like specific, specific instrument sound way louder than the other? Okay, I used another one. Yeah, I used right, my let's own. see if Will can eat this up. Maybe get a lead. He's doing alright. So close. I think Will just needs to stay in the center. Yeah, and be careful of that. This is surprisingly right, even though, right? We'll see. We'll see how Will cleans up the stuff. That's, that's the problem, really. I like, uh, I like... Doesn't get a poke. I mean, I like, uh, Will's stage positioning right now. Just keeping center. Damn, he do be shocking. Yeah. He's actually reaching uh, so high up with these That sucks, nails. though. Catherine got center again from just falling down like that, but, um... Will's in this, though. Let's be real. He's, he's playing it Make well, no mistake. I don't like the catch turn of there, but... Nice! That was clean. Yeah. Clean stop for Big Wheel. Yeah, cleans it up very nice. And waits out the down smash that time. Oh, careful. What, yeah. is, what do you reckon is the best way to DI that down throw? Like behind, right? Yeah, but it gets a dash attack. Or it's like, so it's like some slight DI where you can like dodge dash attack and Peach. you can't get like up smashed or up I feel there. like Peach throws don't like uh like on the defender's side you don't benefit that much from slight diing peach like throws i'm not sure why but it's just something about the animation and like the angle it sends out where it's like it it just seems like peach is uh able to hit whichever direction she wants oh my god the wall of turnips what turnip was that that's in so far winky face yeah Must oh all right will's got to clean this up though he has to hit some Big attacks. He needs to stop going for these jabs, and he needs to start swinging the C stick. I think. He's struggling with these moves. Not bad. Oh, it's gonna turn, bro. Real Not a bad start. Yeah. He's gonna get turn up control, I reckon. There yep. you go. There you go, Will. Up there would be very nice right now. Oh, <sighs> the one yeah. time it that actually hits. It yeah, exactly. Oh no, this is uh, still doable. Yeah, actually a better killing move than Porter at like six. Really? It's got better knockback growth. Okay, so, so the higher it goes, yeah. like the higher percent someone is, yeah. you can actually kill earlier. Yeah. Than yeah. yeah. Ah, very interesting. Oh, nice. Some actual footsies from Will. Oh, that might be. Uh, it. Oh, the, the, so that's that's so the close. <laughs> they both tried to down smash. I had no idea going on this one. Yeah, that's it. Well done. All right, 2 0 to Catherine. I'm going to go quickly sort out the game audio being in one ear. Let it be known, Black Shadow owes me a beer right now. Because I bought him one earlier. I don't know who's going on now. Looks like Milo. He's playing Marth these days. I still think Puff's his best character, but we'll see. But fair enough, he's playing McLeod at the moment. McDonald's. McDonald himself. Yeah, what the hell? 
Why is that still I'm gonna have to just manually balance it. That seems a little bit better. I will just go back up one more time. How's that sound? Talking to me or talking to chat? I mean everyone, in general. That sounds good for me. All right, can you hear me? And then can you hear Ruben all right, everyone? Because I think that should be all right now. Sound okay. Seems all right. All right. I gotta put these guys into the scoreboard. All right, and we got Milo and McLeod. Um, let me also just check. Okay, we're about to get into it. I feel like I don't see McLeod play this matchup enough. Like, just me personally, I don't see. I don't really see what he's got in this matchup or how he even does. I think he plays it pretty well. Um, and against Milo, who kind of. Oh, oh fuck me! Oh, that was crazy though. Um, yeah, against Milo, who Milo kind of does a lot of like forward momentum aerials in his gameplay, yeah. and it's kind of like against McLeod, he's always kind of like ready for that, and he's always ready to like yeah, I don't know easy. SDI yeah. down smash, crouch cancel, just move away and yeah. throw a turn up type of thing. Well, that, was, that was great, like. Take, it, take off the dash tag there. But. Moth Sword, rather large. Not that great. He's going for a pivot, but he doesn't get it. Oh, I like uh, that. He's got no float. Uh, Miley needed to finish that off. I don't think McLeod was ever going to go to the ledge there. No. Sour spot, that's real unlucky. They, that's usually almost always a tidbit. It's letting her rip a lot with the blood smash though. I think you kinda have to against Peach, because like otherwise the stocks really start to escape. And you need something that actually just deletes Peach. Oh I don't know. I don't I get it. Killing killing early is very valuable. Nice, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, pulling the turn of way too close to him there. It's good. Making Peach scared to pull turn is just fucking huge. I want to see Milo do like uh, fade back double fair. Because right now he's just always kind of drifting in with his fares. Yeah, just like doing them even in place when he's got the stage momentum. Like, I mean, the stage positioning. Yeah, fine. right. It just seems a bit like he's not using the full range of the Moth yeah. Disjoint. And, like, it's still a really good hitbox in Miley's hands, right? But it could just be a little bit better, like, where he's kind of putting it. When you when you do the fade, out, fade back fares like that, you're expecting, like, Peach to approach, right? Yeah, more or less, yeah. because you want to outspace, like, dash attack, basically. Yeah. And also, by doing fade back fair, you can hit turnips. Oh, he tried for the pivot. 
Yeah, so also, yeah, with the feedback phase, you can also hit turnips out the air, and it's like... Oh, shit! That was amazing! Oh, and the pivot. The, the true PC <laughs> drop. Uh, oh, he's nuts! He's literally insane! Yeah, I... I, I always hit counter. Whenever a knife does, I'm... I'm just, Smashing right into him. Wow, McLeod's so patient, waiting for Miley's uh, like full hop. Yeah, that's why I'm not really a fan of counter against the turnips. Like when he tried to do it before against the Stitch, I was like, it's probably still gonna get hit. That's gonna do it though. McLeod going 1 0 up. So this is still first of two, by the way. So we've got a best of three on our hands. Um, top eight will be all best of five, though. Oh, really? All top eight? Yeah. yeah. We're just going to do all the top eight. Why not? It's like... It's a big enough event that we can do that, and we have lots of time. And... Um, but like we don't want to kind of extend that too far because like ultimately yeah. it's still kind of just a local. It is. All right, Milo already taken a lot from a cloud. Really getting a bit of a beat down. I don't know if he's like if he's got like the chops to kind of deal with Peach at the moment because this is kind of like a. What's the word? You need to have like a lot of finesse in the matchup. And Milo's like gameplay is kind of just very generalized, I guess. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. That's a good way to put it. Like you kind of well, need yeah, to that, know that, a bit. That fair that he just did. It's like yeah, he much, fed right much, into the corner, right? Fed right into the corner, pretty much. And he's still getting punished for it to this day. <laughs> Some say he's still getting punished. Yeah. Like you just... You just gotta know, like, the risk reward. Yeah, which exactly. Is so risky. Exactly. I don't think like, there's too many people that think about that, you right? Need to, you need to control yourself. Here we go. Combo. Nice. nice Very yeah. good babysit. And there you wanna just pop out an up tilt. That's one thing I haven't seen from Milo at all in this matchup is up tilts. And it's like the key thing to, like, zoning out Peach vertically. Instead, he's just swinging a lot with these um, forward smashes, which aren't as, like, active. Oh shit! Yeah, oh my good. god, alright. Well, Fuck he it, let's why, go. He gets why, we knew he was going for it. Alright, he got it on he, stream, he can yeah. put that into combo video. Um, but yeah, like, up tilt's a bit more active than forward smash is, so I would want to see Milo use that a little bit more. Yeah. And maybe like, even like wave dash back, forward, like up tilt kind of thing. Because you can, you can just clean, oh shit, you can just clean beat out um, Peach's like float towards you if you move backwards and do an up tilt. Yeah, the back hit, really good at killing as well. Yeah, true. I haven't seen any side Vs either from Milo. You can use those at close range to link into an up tilt. But it's just, just something that he's not really doing yet. I like his ground game so far, this stock. See, that's the thing, right? Mm. Like, I like how Milo moves on the ground. As soon as he goes into the air, he's like doing kind of the wrong thing. So. He's doing a few more down tilts, and they're actually hitting him because... Oh, nice. Ooh. He's going for it again. Oh. Oh, don't drop Still it. Tries to so he did uh, he side me two upwards then. Are we gonna get a fair out and still grab the ledge in that situation where he's got caught by a peach down here? I get the feeling that down air was kind of a seasick input. Okay. If you can clean this up with an up tilt or a forward smash, it won't be too bad for him. Oh no! Just yeah. go up tilt there. Yeah. Ah, uh, catches the get up attack as well. The Z drop, he's gonna make it back to stage. Uh, what's happening? B moves. Nice, good for six. Yeah, I think that forward tilt will kill if it tips us now, but. Oh, oh no, what a punish. smart, smart. 
Where is the turn it up? <laughs> See, even if um, Milo clutches this with an F smash, it's still just going to be so much to do. Oh my it. fucking god. <laughs> and that's that. Two what words. a crazy turn. So, I, I think Milo had some really good stuff there, but just needs to tighten up some Peach mashup things. Wait, so who's up? Do I have a game, Musky? No, um, you're waiting still. We're doing a lot more like, games and streams, so like, you've got okay, uh, yeah. one... You're up next. Okay. Sweet. No worries. Who's up now? Oh, me and Catherine. Okie dokie. Musket and Catherine. Oh, okay. You've got, uh, you go milk. No, no, you've got... Uh, black. Black. Imagine seating yourself against your sister. One sec. <laughs> That's brutal. I hope it backfires. <laughs> One, wanna, one day, uh, one day, Catherine will beat Musket. Into that'd a be so sick, though. That'd be so sick. Just like it'll be very hot. Just in the ride home. <laughs> just imagining the vibe on the so, ride home. Look, yeah, Musket would be so salty, and Catherine would just be. She just have that like cheeky grin on her face. So. <laughs> See, I want, I want to live in that reality just for just for one moment. Like, I think Catherine can do it if Musk gets sloppy enough. And honestly, yeah. Catherine's punish has gotten, like, pretty good Catherine, as of late. Yeah, Catherine has good punish. She just... Yeah. Some things just don't go to plan. Let's just say that. Yeah. Oof. Her plan's still pretty simple. Yeah, right? And you don't really get kind of like a, a lot of gameplay a lot until of, later. Like, Attacking at a disadvantage, I feel. Yeah, true, true. Alright, well, thanks for watching so far, everyone. This is going to be, like, winner's quarters. Um, so, the winner of this goes into top eight, and the loser has to play, like, a couple more matches before they can make it into top eight. It's good gameplay. The, the wiggle's and, out by Luigi. And Musket stepping up to the plate now. Very nice. Thank you for everyone who's followed today. Much appreciated. If you want to also stay up to date with SA Smash stuff, check out these links in chat. Bing. Alright, are they right into it? No. The musket always goes for the hand armor. Don't think you don't think we go right into it. What you happened to my bot? It was there a moment ago. Couldn't tell you. Pes pesky mm -hmm. bots. Nightbot, where are you? See, there it is now. Old man, Nightbot's getting slow. <sighs> Maybe I just haven't said a command. Whatever. Uh, let's just make sure they're in camera before they start. Alright, getting into game one now. And they're still striking. Well done. Hey, there's the socials. Thank you. Nightbot, you are slow. So yeah, uh, follow Couchwarriors SA on Twitter, basically is what I was saying earlier. If you just followed and you want to stay in contact with the South Australian scene. But enough of that, enough of me plugging my shit. We actually have a game on our hands. Peach kids? Absolutely. Oh my god, she could just took the stuff like that. That could have been something really yeah. real. Imagine if she did dead. <laughs> oh, oh that's it, it's shorter, happening. Bro. Oh, it's that's actually happening though. No, yes, yeah, too. Alright, good angle. Good angle. That's a musket angle, actually. He loves going to the edge. Ah! Alright, good. Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, that's so sad. I hate Yoshi's. Yeah, um, Peach is getting absolutely fucked by the new stage striking. Like FD not being a you know what? Yeah, I never really thought about it in terms of Peach because yeah, she does lose that that FD threat, and you have to oh no, and you have to play on either this or Stadium really if yeah. you're playing against Fox in the round first round. Because Fox is gonna ban like Dreamland and FOD. 
Yeah. But I'm... Huh. But no, but I'm... Depends. No, you, have yeah. to, you have to win it. Yeah, Catholics. Yeah, you can battlefield if you win. Yeah, right. Yeah, Maybe. I was going to say... Is that, like, that how it works? I'm not sure. Look, well, okay, okay. Like, put it this way. So, Fox is going to ban Fod and Dream. Peach bans Stadium... And, oh, maybe she just preferred this over Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. That's what, like, I just realized that now. Yeah. Is that Catherine actually kind of wanted to go to this stage based on how the strike went. Oh, good pressure. Goes for the grab, though, and uh, Musket just rolls away. Good read. Oh, damn. It's starting to get brutal, though. Alright. See what she can do. It's not nice. over. Oh! Maybe. Yeah, it's, nah, why that's you over. That? <laughs> it's over. not over. Well, game one going to Musket. Well done. Well played, well played. This is still best of three, by the way. So, Catherine's probably going to take Musket to either FD or... She really just likes Yoshi's, it seems. Holy moly. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Alright. Very good. I love OBS when it doesn't work properly. Also, I just had these on the wrong on the wrong side the whole time. Well, I hate getting killed by that down there. This should be the stock though. Catherine playing a lot better on this first stock, actually cleaning it up instead of letting it escape. Yeah. Oh, good CC on the dash attack. It's gonna turn into a stock though. I'll be doing that. Great, great punish, honestly. Oh, good at down smash, that one. Musket's um, falling up airs against uh, Peach trying to down smash actually has been very on point, very clean, and very like ready for yeah, it. Yeah, because sometimes that down smash just beats you falling up there. Oh! Oh no! Scared they were gonna get like burned by the flames. Would fair would have reached it? Or you could have started it up and it would have reached, absolutely. But yeah. maybe Catherine also wasn't sure that it would hit that high. Oh, nice. This should be another stock if... Uh, gone for a read. Yeah. Okay. Musket does like to go to the like, angle to the ledge. Oh, good side B. Oh, yes. Even game. Even game. This is great. She really needs to... That's like some of like the biggest difference between like Catherine and RJ, like or oh, some like RJ. RJ literally, when he played, he literally never got hit by after up there. He'd always like. Oh, he had such out. good STI, right? We would always float out of it and have good DI. Like, just got DI behind and like air dodge or. Yeah, out. yeah. Like rather than just the straight up DI. And yeah, you know what? Probably Catherine's not... DI on throws isn't that great. And, oh. then, and then she just double jumps out as well. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to resist the temptation. Yeah. But Catherine doing a really good job at just trading the right aerials. Oh, oh let's that, go. Let's that go. just worked. Careful. Woo! That could have come to the DI, yeah, I guess. Uh, Musk is just waiting because he knows that he all he needs is just like a clean hit confirm into up smash and this set is uh oh, curtains. Okay, nice. But that's all it takes. Musk with a two O. It was looking really good for Catherine for a sec there, but you know. It happens. Oh. Um, so you're up now, aren't you? Yes, I'm up. Alright. Have fun, gamer. Best of luck. Thank you. Alright, so Scrattles and Nan's up now. Very nice. Um, best of three, next round is best of five. Uh, we're doing top eight best of five, so you're one round away. Alright, gamers, we have... Scrattles versus Nangs.
All right, about to get into this game one. And we're starting on Yoshi's. Oh, what a brutal start for Brad already. Damn, Ruben all over him right now. Oh, he was actionable. What happened? How did that happen? Oh, this could be a stock of Brad though. Ruben's got to watch out. All right, Ruben doing a really good job right now. He's just uh, really pulling ahead and trading in all the right places. Scrattles just does not, um, just rather, he d not that he doesn't hit the punishes, but right now he hasn't gotten any real good hit confirms into some big attacks to kill this Samus. Nice shine though. Got, an, got a chance to edge guard here, goes for the F smash. And we have oh. Musket joining me on hello, the microphone. Hello, hello. We have some headphones there if you want to listen in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we are. And we have this new mic. Very fancy. Yeah, this is, um... We've seen... Oh, this is a staple, right? Group yes, of it is. It's like... Over the years, um... There's been some ups and downs, mostly downs for Brad. He's gotten the sneaky set win, but Ruben's definitely <laughs> quite favoured. Ruben very, very solid against Fox, right? Yeah, Ruben's like, really, really clean against him. Mm. And it's a matchup that a lot of Foxes struggle with. Even if, like, it's not like Samus doesn't win it, but it's awkward. It's... It's like, the problem is Samus is so inclined to CC and, um... Drill, so when you drill Samus, her like flinch animation, she kind of like, yeah, her flinch animation makes it like, makes her hurt box um, shrink up a bit. So it's really hard to get like drill shine. That makes sense, right? Because at the moment, uh, Straddles just hasn't really gotten that like clean follow up hit. Yeah. And that's oh, punish! Oh my god! <laughs> he, he, I mean, he probably knew that if he went in with like a drill that it would probably get STI'd there. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> just take the damage, but you could have gotten something else. Just grab even. Oh, Ooh, okay, we get that. We get the up, you know, percent, but then he goes for a follow up and it's just like. Samus loves it when Fox goes for like. dishonest follow ups because she's gonna nair out, right? Yeah, exactly, right? All right, game two, where are we going though? Mm. FD. Ready, what do you think about FD versus Samus actually? Um, Cause this is something that like, I got, I got no clue about. Hey, it's good in the sense, <clears throat> it's good in the sense that like, when Samus up feeds out a shield and she's going up feeding out a shield a lot, right? Unless she's near the edge of the stage, you pretty much get a free punish as long as you don't get hit. Okay. So okay. like, you can play the game of like, Say, nearing her shield, doing a late nand, and shielding yourself to bait out the up the shield. Mm hmm. Um, Ruben's ground game on ground game on FD is so it's like it's incredibly solid, right? Like, he's he's so comfortable just wave dashing back, poking with F tilt. Um, both against Fox and Falco, right? It's not looking too bad for Brad though. No, but the thing is, how is he closing out the stock? The problem is like, you want to get a drill shine, right? You want to get a drill shine into an up smash, but it's so hard to actually get that shine to connect after the drill. Especially if, even if Samus does an SDI, it can be hard at times. And like, if Samus is SDIing, then it's just, you have to catch her out for a running shine maybe. Uh, it's starting to like escape. Brad right now. Yeah. And he's going for these Hail Mary options. Alright, whatever. Now what happened, right, is Fox. You start getting impatient, the damage starts creeping up on your like you've already lost your stock and then you're at 60 and you're like, crap, I still need to get this like close out the sound uh, stock. No refresh when he grabbed the ledge there and he just fails the ledge dash. Mm. 
It's one thing to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like quickly ledge dash back and like own him. But I think if you're good, if you're really good at the game, you want to do the, you want to do the refresh. Because if you do it right, it's invincible. Mm, so just do it. Oh, okay. I like the full hop there from Brad. There's an argument though for like immediately doing the ledge dash to give your opponent less time to react to it though. Yeah, but um, that can put them in like a rhythm. You know? like, yeah. People start to expect the instant ledge dash. Mm. And then it just becomes like the easiest ledge trap that you can do. Yeah. It's just you wait for the immediate ledge dash. And then if they don't do it, then it's like, okay, sweet. I'm not in any trouble. Oh, Ruben going all the oh. way out. So I guess the key is to like mix up. Because if you just refresh every time as well, that's also a Ruben, right? Yeah, so exactly. Like, yeah. So in my opinion, it's good to go for refreshes like often. Because mm. then the instant ledge dash actually becomes effective. Sure. Like, you have to make the opponent, like, respect you being on the ledge first before you can really go for that instant ledge dash. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you can do the opposite and, like, just go up for the first time, hit it, and then you can make the you can make them, like, really respect you on the ledge. But right. quick one for Nangs, and he goes with a 2-0. Up next is uh, Yukai and Blackshadow. Oh, sweet as. Yep. Let's do it. All right, wish me luck. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Hello. Anyone want to code commentate? <laughs> Will, you want to code commentate? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, great, cool. Oh my god, I managed to snatch a code commentator. Joining me is Will D. Hi. What, a, what, a, what an introduction. Also, let's just... Dude, these mics are pretty crap. You think? It's cool. I thought, wait, what did you say? Dude, these mics are, like, full on. Okay, yeah, I thought you said like pretty crap. I was like, like what? No, this is crap, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they they suck. No, they um, no, this is actually a really sick setup. Yeah, it, it's gonna get a little bit, you know. I'm used to just like moving my head around when I commentate and like having the mic follow me. So having like yeah, a no, stationary kind of mic weird, is um, there's definitely times where I just turn around and like talk, and I'm like, oh god, that just completely ruined my voice. But yeah. which is even like hard with these um masks on because it's like. Commentary already already sounds a little bit muffled with the masks and like that makes it a bit harder, but that's just a getting used to thing, right? Yeah. That's a bit right. Oh, was that uh, Is that good to go? No idea. Putting it to Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, it's it's all good to go. Kaya is already nice enough to um <laughs> I think I got flamed on that. It's all yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Look, you get more, you get more interstate wins. Beat more Falcos, and you'll have your own. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Get, if know. their states weren't full of COVID, then sure. Yeah, exactly. That's the only thing that's stopping them from Will D coming yeah. down. You know. Actually, I'm surprised you haven't entered that many Netplay tournaments. There's a bunch of mediocre. Yeah, but Falcons, they're always so. on like the weirdest times. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like Sunday afternoon or whatever. I'm just like, have something on or. It's like, yeah, I, I play like a sport on Thursdays when the other tournaments are. That makes sense. And if I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna enter one every like couple of months, I'm just like not that enthusiastic about it. Sure. Yeah, I have my run at the start. Now I'm content. Now you're content? Yeah, okay, fair enough. I like that nowadays, like the, the feeling I would get doing well in a tournament is like way lower than like losing to some like new math or chic or something so I'm like content <laughs> the risk of war just isn't worth it yeah exactly fair enough <clears throat> actually you're playing the lose of this yep yep oh. go mark <laughs> go mark I don't want to get up there yeah, true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you really want to play a Falco. 
you've done okay against Kai in the past, right? Some like some sets. Some sets you've gotten washed. Yeah. But, like some you've gotten. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, just if the hits connect. Where's Black Shadow? It's like. Ow, my ears. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not the sign to get you. Yep. Cool. Is that really loud, or? Pardon? Is the uh? The audio is really loud. In your? Yeah. Oh really? Let yeah. me um. Should be right. Okay, well, yeah, it's probably something to check. Uh, yeah, no, I, I beat Kai on FD once without grabbing a single time. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. That's, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is a matchup that um, historically is pretty bad for Falcon. It's like, it's also pretty bad for Mark, right? Like, he's. Yeah, well, he beat um, MSJ that one time. That's well, true. I know that. Yeah, well, that was pretty hype. A big part about this is obviously how, like, Falcon reacts to laser. And, like,. A lot of Falcons early on will just get like stuck in shield, but like mixing in some wave dash out of shields depending on like the spacing of the laser, like where Falco lands after the laser. Because like if you try and wave dash out of shield where Falco's like super close, then you're just gonna get um like dead out of it. Yeah. Right? But like at like mid range spacings, you can do more stuff. Um, take laser as well and dash back is still quite good. It's like better for stuff like say spaces and all that, but it's still very good for Falcon, right? Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's like, at a surface level, if the Falcon gets, like, reads. Why, if the Falcon lands in the knee at, like, 60? Yeah, like that, that makes the matchup, like, seem more even. That's just, true. If the Falcon plays perfectly and doesn't get red, it's pretty, pretty damn hard. Pretty damn hard, yeah. Oh, nice little power shield grab. But, like, you're always like, oh, man, like, it sucks to be Falcon here. And, like, as you said, like, you just, like... Bump to Falco at 60, like, oh, no, it's alright. Sometimes Falcon gets a stomp knee at, like, or just a regular knee at, like, 60, and, yeah, Falco dies, and you're like, huh. To be fair, that's both spaces, right? Sometimes it's Falco, you just get kneed by Falco. Yeah. You're like, god damn it. I think it's a similar thing to, like, the Peach Falcon matchup, where, like, the Falco wins more neutral exchange, but the Peach hits harder. Mm. But. From his Falcon still hits hard. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, so, like, it's just like, it's like that, but then just worse or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's always very satisfying seeing a Peach when they um, uh, jump air dodge, they're down for an E, and the Falcon's like, what do I do? How yeah. do I close out stocks? Yeah. It's like, good. Oh, oh! There you go. <laughs> Hold it. There we go. Hold it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It just goes out there, just went out there and just... It looked like I really know exactly the fundamentals of what's going on, but I feel like it's kind of what's happening is yes, yeah, Kai's playing pretty well, but then Mark's just like smacking him harder. Alright. Yeah. He's been keeping up with these like low percent stocks. Yeah. Um He hasn't seemed to be as bothered by the lasers as he maybe could be. I got it. Maybe. In the past, yeah. I mean, let's think, Mark has also come back and um he's on the net play grind a little bit. Yeah. Which means he's gonna be running into Falcos. And, oh man, that turned around quickly. Oh! That was kill. This is always so scary as the Spacey. If loses, there's to be spewing. This is all, this spot's oh. so scary as the Spacey. Oh, Get him! God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Absolutely spewing. Just have to hold the ledge. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie. Kai Kai definitely took that a lot better than I would. I would have been inside, I would have been spewing, I would have been eye rolling, I've been like this. I guess you get to get a use of how you're playing against Falcon, right? Yeah, you have to expect it. That's nice. the character. You can't, like... Yeah. It's never going to change. It's yeah, never exactly. Like, yeah. You have to accept that, you know, that's on you. Reset. Reset mentally. Go into, um... Oh, the ledge. And this is still winner's, um, quarters. So this is still best free. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, after this set, we'll, um, be playing some... We have a couple of losers games, so we're gonna let losers catch up a bit, and then after that, we'll um, move on to winner semis. Okay. Cool. I would have thought, like, I don't know, the Yoshi's would be like. I guess, like, obviously, Yoshi's is good for Falco, but, like, if you get up ahead and, like, and just die. I think it's like, well. 
stadium was incredible. The stadium was like quite a wide, uh, wide stage, right? Yeah. And he was still getting like killed at seven. Yeah, yeah, sure. So may as well. May as well go to Yoshi's and try and smother the Falcon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Get your own early kills. Yeah. I don't know what happened there, but I did. Ah, uh, flops the shield drop, but still gets. Still keeps the pressure up. Um, but then. Need this. No. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that was very. I don't know what he did. But it was <laughs> I can't remember the term for it. If you um. ECB name thing. It's like if you um. If you drop from ledge, oh sorry, drop from platform and then like aerial and like first possible frame and hit them. Yeah, that's right. Like certain moves, uh, certain moves, then you'll stay on the platform. Yeah, I think the Falcon bear, like bears an obvious one, but does that right? Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact: in PM, uh, Fox Bear can also do that. <laughs> so you know. We can, um, that wasn't very fun. Yeah, it was, I, was, I was thinking that as well. That's not <laughs> very... <laughs> was a, it was a fact. I'll it was a fact, that. yeah. Look, it's, it's fun for the uh, PM players out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some snaps. Oh, that, was, that was close to that. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Get him. Oh, oh the raid! This entire set is... I, 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 it's kind of what I was saying. Like, I yeah. feel like Kai's smothering it, but then that happens. Mm. I mean, it's not that, like... <laughs> like, revolutionary to call that, but still. And, like, that can definitely play on your mental a bit. If you're, like... Yeah. You work so hard to get a stock, and then... He's in my head. <laughs> and then it's, like... This guy, this guy hit a knee at, like, 60, and I'm dead. Yeah. Or, like, 50, and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, that was some very nice little platform movement there. That's the sort of like, yeah. Just the wave lines off the top platform. Look at it. Very slick. Yeah, it seems like Kai's like, playing well. But oh, oh, yeah. oh, he went for. Use the best move. Oh, no. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to assume the Falcon is probably banning um, Dreamland or Battlefield, and then the Falcon's going to the other one, right? Take your word for it. Yes. Yes. Yes, you will, Will. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I can't think of any other statement. I mean, our Falcons in SA have some fixation on FD for whatever reason, but right. surely not. Surely not against Falco here. They'll strike to it, but they won't counter pick to it. Well, I know you probably don't want. Oh, hey, Kizza. FOD. Right. But I have no idea. Yeah. You definitely don't want FOD. Uh, Mark 1 on Stadium. So that's the only other stage I could see him going to. Yeah, so Kai Band's Dreamline, and then I feel like we're definitely going to Battlefield. Yeah, okay, cool. So what else do you go? You know, I mean, maybe go back to Yoshi's, and, but... Battlefield's nice against Spacey just because, like... More room to think. Yeah, compared to Yoshi's, but also um, the way the ledge... You can't, like, ride the wall. Which means once the spaces from below really hampers how many different angles. Ah, right, yeah. And like mix-ups they can do without B from below. It makes it a lot easier to um, edge guard. Sure. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, he hits it with a down B. Oh. Uh, That'd be so funny if he killed him after that. Okay. Okay. Closes out. If he can hold on to the stock without dying. Oh, oh yeah, nice. that was actually really, really nice. Just waited out the shine still and then just punished the jump afterwards with the upper. Yeah. I feel like Mark seems to be reading the the Kai's on stage recovery, which not seems he doesn't seem to be doing. But then, hmm. oh, kind of, kind of, kind of crack to that one, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It's always good to see people actually like CC or ASDI down the uh, Falcon jabs and punish it. Yeah. Because right. Falcons get so used to just like aerial jab, 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 or aerial jab, jab on shield. Yeah. It's like, I just sort of like mash like both stick down and just hope for the best. <laughs> Seems yeah. To work sometimes. That's. Oh, he still has to. Yeah. He's not confident at punishing these um Falcon bees. Mm. To be fair, it's scary, right? Because like Falcon can't really punish um. Say high up B, like uh, a Falco that's above ledge height up being to ledge, yeah. like on stage. You can't like do it on stage. You have to like. Sure. I feel like you probably have to like run off stage and then do like a double jump nail up there to like cover it. Yeah. That, that yeah. feels very risky. Textbook. But I feel like if you're gonna just wait on stage, you might as well just like 
Yeah, my it's, theory is if like, the matchup's like with this, I, I would just go out, but then I'll probably just die, so you know. He you? knows what he's doing. Oh, oh that no. sucks. That sucks. That's unfortunate. What a time to go for a hack dash as well. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, Mark's it. improved quite a bit. He's um, yeah. he's on the grind as well. He doesn't he's... look like he's like phased by this at all. He's no, doing his thing. You can't be right if you apart from the ledge. Because <laughs> it like, even if he takes a bit more percent than loses, then finally takes the stock. He's a, he like won game one at like yeah yeah what 110 100. You just need two neutral or one, at, like minimum one neutral. He's saying we need a we need a mark a mark stock. Yeah, mark. Oh, that shield uh. is tiny. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, finally gets the uh, the stage read. Okay, and this this was not. This is. I think in this matchup it's kind of it's pretty even, right? Yeah, it's. Just... Oh, yeah, I think now yep. Dark is in the corner, but gets out. Very. Oh, the stomp trades. Uh, that's and that's yep, it. That's, nice. that's a good set. All right. Go. Uh, cool. What's the what's the plan, boss? Let's. Can I get Mike? Can I get Milo and Ace on stream? Ooh. Huh? All right. You want cool. my thing or? Cool. See you later. Have fun. Let the record show. I was shitting my pants in game two. <laughs> Alright, oh. uh, 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 joining me. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I know. Whoa, right? this setup's sick! Yeah, I know. Damn. I was saying oh. Alright, um, let's. But you know what? Since you're closer to the uh, keyboard, you, yes. type, you type and I'll move the oh. mouse. And So we Kai right now. So we want our uh, ace. Alright, um. And yeah, Milo. Nice. Uh, we'll also change this to um, losers round one, I guess, or losers bracket. Losers bracket, probably. And that should be good. Uh, you can put your, you know, if you want to put your um, commentary name, and put your Twitter account, you know, get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! We're back. Oh. So oh my god, this is so... It is It is very <laughs> cool. I was saying the, the one thing that's going to take... Uh, same before the world. The one thing that's going to take oh getting god, used to is um, is just like... Getting used to moving your head and commentating. Yeah. Like, you have to like... Yeah, stay you have to stay like, with the mic. So if you like yeah. look at someone... Yeah. I'm a okay. big head move. I'm a big like... Yeah, I, I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So oh. like, you know, maybe... Move, but then like the general direction so like I can yeah so like you put it facing and you like sort of face the person yeah yeah technique mm. but we'll, we'll get there we've been we've been on like headsets with uh, mics attached for years and I know. years so it's gonna take a bit to get used to but well um oh yes nice he's so smart he's he's so smart he's so smart wait are we sure wait I thought they're sitting the other way around oh no the, it's the yeah 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 and then they swap the camera. How do you swap the camera? Yeah, we just do those, yeah. Ah, true. Nice. You guys are all good to stop. Alright, here we right. go. This is actually going to be... I think it's going to be such an interesting set to watch. Like, this is the old and the new, right? Well, the old and the like slightly less old, right? Marley's been around for years, but the old and the return. The return, exactly. It's the, it's the sort of like the 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 stalwart old and the like old looking to revitalize. And the old looking to push. I think they have such different playstyles as well. <laughs> I think Ace is like Ace is definitely a swinger. Yeah. Right. Whereas like Milo, he Milo dashes a bit. He does a bit, but he, he'll just kind of he'll just kind of run at you and toss out an F smash from time to time. Yep. Milo is definitely more of a um, dash dance heavy mark, I'd yep. say. Oh. Right now, the swing is taken first Damn. blood. This is. Don't know how Milo will feel going home 0 2. Thanks no. to Taylor not showing up. That's 30, true. Imagine paying 35 of a dollar for <laughs> Hey, no, he entered PM. Uh, true, true. He entered PM. Both of them, them entered PM. 
Damn. I was looking forward to the Romeo Romeo matchup. I was as well, but um, Caleb actually sick, so yeah. That's a chance. Caleb sad the sad chat. This is the fabled Milo that people have talked about. He was definitely a pop. This He's is top like, three neutral in SA. Top. I've heard of that story. I heard you were so mad. You were like, this takes a dump on everything I've worked <laughs> for. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Look, I fair, completely fair. It's like, but I mean, also part of that is just like you know, the like starry eyes, like older brother being proud of his younger brother. I, yeah, probably. I know. That's what we went through. We went, we went very carefully through to examine that. That's exactly what that was. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. I believe in Miley, but he's gonna get there. Yeah. But the question is, will Pauline get there first? Pauline, I feel like Pauline's already above, right? <laughs> yeah, he won the last set. Yeah. I'm excited to see the rematch. I love watching. I love like watching Polly on it. I do well. Cause like, it's still like rough in some edges, but he yeah. plays exactly how like I like Mark to be played. Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah. I think Polly this weird thing where you take glimpses of like three second bits of his game, and it looks like a top mark. And then you yeah. take the whole thing and you put it together, and it looks like Polly. Well, you just gotta get more than that three seconds, you know? Get up to like five or six. And <laughs> It's a steady Get process. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we love seeing us. Also, while we were talking about that, uh, the, the tides have turned. The, um... Okay. Well... Yeah, damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> I want to start goes to 194 in Pokemon, and uh, that's how the games turn around. So, like... Ooh. Nice. Miles has been finding these, like, tip F smashes. Not just there as well. He's been going for, like, uh, forward throw pivot F smash. And... In the past, Mar uh, Milo would go for that, and he would always like mess up and pivot. Yep. He would like. I'm not sure if, if when you're like playing, um, when you're playing Marth and you mess up like pivot S smash, you'll see him like dash forward and dash back. Yep. And you'll start, yeah, that's. And you see his Milo head shake. Yeah. You don't even have to look at the screen. But no, he's been hitting some of them. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, he got me once <laughs> and missed it like five times. But, you know. Well, you know, one out of five is still better than zero out of five. It's true. It's... And if you're going, well, you want to be going for them, right? Yeah, yeah because like. I'm like, the more you go for them, the better you get them. Yeah, the, um, you get like two out of five, then. Yep. Uh, Speaking of Mars, cool. fucking yeah. Nick. Yeah. I messaged Nick. Did, uh, did I tell you already? Uh, yeah. But I, I literally got the message back. And I'm like, <laughs> he's, he's just like, oops, yeah, uh, Path of Exile, New League dropped yesterday. He told me, I was like, oh my god. I was I, like, uh, it's, already, it's already come out, I need to get on that. God damn it, Nick. Oh man, it's Sunday already. I'm gonna have like no time to play it. <laughs> it's like Monday evening? Yep. Yep. Uh, game two. Oh damn, it's still quick slot. I guess yeah. that's just my, my. I don't know, this matchup breaks my mind. Yeah, I'm, I really don't like playing it. <laughs> it's like, I just. It feels so awkward. Yeah, it, I feel it's, like you feel so like I feel like Marth makes Marth feel so floaty. Yeah, like more than any other character. You're just in the air and like you get hit and you're just like I I could just die. And there's so many different like nuances to edge guarding yeah. as well. Like just Ooh. a little um the like down tilts, the F smashes, the F smashes that aren't really like true because you can just like yep. tech it and then you start like doing runoff fair. To, like cupboard. Yep. And like going low and like delaying and like when you use this side yeah. yeah, so much stuff. <laughs> like if, if one Marv can edge guard the other, it's so big, <laughs> right? Because yep. like you can. Marv can definitely edge guard Marv. It's like there's so many different things you have to be cognizant of. I think that's the same for like I think I feel like yeah the, the difference between like a decent player and a good player is if they can edge guard Marv. Mm. I feel like that's yeah, literally because sure, it's, yeah. it's just like so you can't you have to sort of be able to bait in some sense to where like you're not going to be able to sit there and just like wait for Marth to do something. You have to have like an idea and you have to like, because if the Marth is seeing you in a position, then the Marth will do something and you have to be able to recognize that. And it takes a long time to get to that point. And it's so easy to like think, like be confident about it in like theory. And yeah, then when, in yeah. practice when it's like... You hit the L button and then the Marth just stop his left. Yeah. And you're like, wait, wait a sec. I got nothing. This happened four times in a row. Why does this keep happening? It's like having the like confidence to go for the proper edge guard at like when you're at like say 10% the mask at like say yep. 90 and you're like last dock that's that's big that's something I still need to work on myself personally I just love how many moves are coming out but, look oh. it's, it's kind of descended into just like throwing out hitboxes and just oh, oh. he just held down oh. pa most patient hold down hold I've ever seen in my life uh oh, oh. yeah. Milo's got those combos. Don't think Ace has those. Oh, maybe. maybe. A little bit. 
he gets hit with the Ken combo, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> you can you can do those things. You can together. do it. Uh oh yeah. I feel like Oh, oh nice smile. Oh Oh wait Let's what? Let's go Ace! <laughs> what? I was about to Holy okay. shit! We have a set, we ladies and a... gentlemen. I saw the first day, I was about yeah, to yeah. enter like the I just saw, I just saw the, Marth, the white moth is like standing up and I'm like, wait, wait a second. That's insane. Alright, we got a game Almost free. good by Milo. Milo loses this, he's gonna be absolutely livid. He's gonna... Yeah, my, uh, do you reckon uh, Milo's leaving the venue? Like, frame one. Something crazy right, is some, going some, on the FG in the back What do you mean? They're just so hyped. Bro. They're still the, like, the delayed replay. They're like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and that... What if Milo just got like the double there? <laughs> so many options. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, can't hold in there. I'm surprised they went back to Stadium. Yeah? Right, because he won on like, and he won Wait. pretty convincingly on Stadium, right? Game one? Yeah. I don't know, just covered, I guess. <laughs> Does Ace know about DSR? Probably not, right? I mean, you can gentlemen's back. Like, if it's, That's it's true, eight, yeah, wait, yeah. it's Ace's. Oh no, it's Milo's counter pick. It's not, yeah. Wait a second. Oh. Wait a second. Oh well. There goes. Wait, this might be top eight, actually. Because, um, uh... round one was, like, Milo got to round two. No, no, this is, um, still. This is not top oh, eight. Oh, this is not top eight. Yeah. Okay, next round's top eight. Okay, yeah. whatever. Up next, we have, uh, Black Shadow and Wool D. Yep. Man, that Kai set was actually sick. Mm. Dude, you can tell you can tell Mark's grinding's been paying off. That's sick. Like he's been he's been like on the on the high stand anyway on the queues for like two weeks and you can really tell. I think after um so after Black Shadow and Will D we'll get um some of the winner semis because uh she almost uh because like some people have been waiting for a while but like I guess in like into most tournaments when well, you, you top eight, do, you do like you do the first like uh, losers eight, before, and yeah, then losers eight semis, and then yeah, yeah. So we'll do losers eight first. Yeah, losers quarters, then yeah, sure. Losers quarters, then winners final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just do it the normal way. Yep. Sorry, I'm chilling. What do you got? You got Ruben? Yeah, you have Ruben. I yeah, have Ruben. Yep. Plus the first. Oh, uh, he's just waiting. Actually, honestly, wait, that feels. I don't know if it's easy. I don't know if Kai's Ruben is easier for me to be honest. They're about the same. You're quite confident against um, uh, Samus's point of Peach, right? And yeah. Ruben's less confident against Peach than he would. Yeah. yeah. I feel fine against Ruben. Yeah. And Kai's looking good, but I think I'm, I'm hoping the uh, Black Shadow set tied him out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it fired him up. Who knows? Maybe it did. I mean, if he plays good, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. See it. Oh, he just waits. All right. Nice. <laughs> this, this is definitely definitely a matchup where you can just get like very easily cheesed by like yep. horde for Earth smash so this is like the cheese matchup I yeah feel like. this is like the most the most cheese in one matchup i feel like knowing the cheese like it, it, you can become good not technically good at this oh matchup, that's such a bad up b but it doesn't matter he doesn't get the oh Ooh, yeah a good ace, ace is living ace lives for these moments just these yeah. like the weights like, yeah yeah that man in PM will just wait oh, and just frada. He's got smash. those. Yeah. Oh, this, and suddenly this is very, very even. Uh, yeah. Ace, when is, Ace is like a little, like a hunter. Like when it, when his prey, like he knows his prey is vulnerable, he'll wait. He's really good at it. <laughs> yeah, he but really is. When, when his prey isn't vulnerable, he's running at them and freaking the fuck out. The problem is, it's like... What? Once he gets confident that they're just gonna be like vulnerable and he'll yeah. wait, he'll still go for those reads. At times yeah. he'll go for those greedy reads and he'll just like, he'll just Ooh. dead. Uh, oh, oh, how the hell was that? How was that? How was oh, that? Ace is grabbed. That was this. almost a tipper. Oh. oh. When Mars Shield starts drinking and uh, when he's on like the side plat. Oh, he wants it. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh. oh. Shield breaker. That's it. Ace takes it. That's what a set. It. What a set. Ace going back to the Milo's, uh, Milo's stage he won on and beating and him. beating, what a set. All right, yeah. He was like, I'll let you go back. You know yeah. what, I have something to prove. All right. Let's go, Ace. Uh, can we get Black Shadow and Will D? <laughs> Ruben right. is stacking the beers up. All right, let's go, let's go team. Let's go, we need to put in some more people, so. We'll get um, 
Oh, go on, yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. We're supposed to be a tag team. You, your keyboard, our mouse. Together we're one competent. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. And we're still on. Yep, that should be. Oh. Uh, we'll swap uh, player info. Oh, yeah, we'll save. That should be fine. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah we, we have it. Change um, the scores, and we should be good to go. This, uh, I'd be surprised if... This is, gonna, Mark, this this is, is this probably going to be a wash. This is going to be a wash. Let's be um, real. This is an insult. Like, you can't be um, too down on one person's chances, but, yeah. like, let's be real. Mark looks good against me, and this has never been Will's matchup. No. If Mark was a Falco, however, mm. that's when everything goes around. This is, uh... Look, that said, that said, there's a... Okay. Oh, yeah, true. It is a best of three. Anything can happen. Well, he has hits those stuff sometimes. Hits the down on the C-stick sometimes. All right, cool. Who just wants to go to the air too much, and that's really not good in this matchup. Yeah, because... <laughs> like, really, gonna... really not good in this matchup. It's like, that's what Falcon wants, right? Like, Falcon wants, like... He should be in that like vulnerable position that he can just like because yep. he's so much faster and he has like so much more burst movement, right? So it's like, yeah, Pete. Like in this matchup, like Peach sort of has to move without giving Falcon anything, and like you just have to stare at the Falcon the whole time, and then eventually you just like play him off. Mm. But it's like you, 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 this is probably one of the most you need the most discipline as Peach, and that's on that's the thing that I don't think Will has. In, like I think if. It goes five seconds without like some, like three or four seconds without something happening. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go in, throw out an aerial or dash attack. Yep. Oh, nice little. That said, hey, he's got stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, then his jump is gone. Now. Not recoveries, but you know. If Caleb can uh, edge guard you, you know you have a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Oh, uh, no. yeah. Mark goes <laughs> for those old lot. Let's go, Will. Bring Bye. it back. Mark goes for those down first stomps. I hard. hate it. I yeah. hate it every time it was I very get hit funny. by it. I'm just like, this is terrible. I hate you. It was very Why funny. There was like one way? session uh, where he like got on you once and he just kept going for it and it yeah, kept I'm not working. Like... And it's like... He's still going for it. And sometimes it works. Yeah, I sometimes, yeah. It's, it gets in my head, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't let it, but it, at some point I, I imagine it's somewhere in my head. Well, this is a weird stage to counterpick to, right? Uh, I guess this it... is probably the worst. This is the worst. It's not, I don't think that's, unless you, like, you ban this in Yoshi's, I can't imagine. It's, yeah. Yeah. I guess he doesn't want Dreamline, it's like so big. I, I guess, think. but like. So it's Stadium, really. Yeah. <laughs> At least Dreamline, you get like the higher recoveries and he can't up kill you. All right, well. Well, <laughs> that was, uh. Well, Slightly worse than what that, I expected. That, that was hand warmers. <laughs> okay, you know, you know when hand warmers go like a minute or so? Yep. Yeah, that was hand warmers. All right. Let's, wait, what do you mean one. it's already started? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the bracket and now the game was over. So up next, we'll be having um, Brad and Catherine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. Right. We're doing laser dates first. Yeah, yeah, we're doing laser Yeah. Oh, Brad Catherine's interesting. And Ace, yeah. Black... Oh, okay. Because, yeah, we have a lot of time. This is, yeah, this yeah, is like... We're chilling. Yeah, we have... um. Till seven, right? Till like seven, something like that. Yeah. So it's like we might as well just have every game on stream at that point. Oh, nice. no. Okay, goes for um. I guess he was trying to go for a um short hop, like a really early short hop uh, up air, but gets the up smash instead. But. All right, all right, we get the shield grab. Um, all right, oh, we get the stop. He's, oh. he's on the board. <laughs> There's definitely a microphone in front of my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna get used to that. We're gonna. God, that's sick. It is. It really is. And the stocks are turned. So all, right, all we need is three more Miracle Down Smashes, and then I hate, I hate those stomps. I hate those stomps. Yeah. Trigger something. Yeah. 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 What do you mean? Falcon's a cool character. I hate Fine. this character. I hate. Falcon stomps on top flat three times and gets some um, stomp back ending. And people are like, oh my god. I mean, that's an art, you know. I can't. That's breathe. Let's breathe. Right, I know. I'm gonna go to America. It's gonna be five times worse. Five. <laughs> Because that's the thing, in SA you have your own, you know, we, we all hate Falcon in SA, yeah. or at least most of us do. 
Well, uh, America's coming around. That's yeah. But true. I imagine yeah. the American Falcons make it so much more obvious why he's the worst, most degenerate. That's character. true. That's true. <laughs> is it propaganda at this point? It's, it's not. It's, is it's it, really it's, just the truth. It's man. really just the truth. <laughs> Runaway man is just not cool. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, well, well. Runaway man right now, putting on the pressure. Definitely just bully for the peach to the corner. Just... That was a good wait on the oh, that wasn't get up attack, but no edge guard. Stomp. Another one. Mark just for the fans right now. But yeah. Well, at this point, it's like, you know you've won. Yeah. You know you've won. But Let's have you? Real. Have you, though? Yeah, true. Oh, have you Will won? D. Have you won? That was actually really fucking smart. Yeah. Holy shit. The runoff? I'm going to steal that. That's mine. That's the cloud. Stolen. Falcon for SA is Mark for Vic, you know? Probably. Hey, no, it's, it's... I still think that it's the same amount of skill for the character. I just think the character's degenerate. Yeah. It's not, it's not the same as Vic. We're not the same, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yep. Can I get Brad and Catherine on the stream? SA Classic. Yeah, this should, they, they, um, they're always seated above or below each other. I'm pretty sure, like every last ten tournaments. At this point, it's like topped a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it would still be best of three. Yes. Yep. Oh okay. no, it's top eight. Is it not? I guess we'll do. Yeah, we'll Is do. Is this losers quarters? We said top eight, yeah. best of five. Yeah, we'll do oh, best. it's best of five, by the way. Best of five for all of top eight. Oh yeah. Best of five, Brad. Huh? Wait, is that? No, oh, it's not losers' quarters. Wait. No, like, might as well do best five top eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah might as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking, uh, my, my was, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's all, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. a major, might as well do best five, right? Kath icing oh, yeah. her opponent out. Yep, true. Oh. All right, let's go, team. Oh, yep. Yep. I want it. <laughs> Form of a keyboard. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, huh? Oh yeah, true, oh. And this is still, um, Blue's Ace, yeah, so. Who's facing him? Huh? You are. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Cap coming up to the, um, stream being like, who's facing Brad? I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Best of five, Cap. Cap? Best of five. Why isn't McLeod practicing box tech right now? Look. That's a good question. It's because there's a co tournament. I don't he's co-commentating with his, you know. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. At a tournament, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah. I need a cooldown anyway. Mm-hmm. After. Yeah. What? What winners? Uh, winners are we putting on first? Uh, definitely mean. Uh, yeah, I guess. I was like. So I was like, Ruben's had to wait a while, but so is so have you. So it's like, yeah, I don't like, know. Um, rock paper scissors. Hmm? Rock paper scissors. All right, yeah, sure. Well, you know. Uh, so winner goes on last. Yep. Uh, All right. Fuck. Fuck. All right. So you on next? Yeah, I'll be on. I'll be on uh, yeah. after. Well, we have a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. We have two sets. Yeah, yeah. Two sets of lose eights, and then. Yep. So I'll go warm up after during the next set. Yep. Don't want to lose to no Kaiser today. Mm -hmm. Give him a run for his money. Also, for those who don't know, Kai being very helpful in the background, just adjusting the um, we love Kai cans strange. we hit. We got this professional level layout. I know. For Brad Catherine. We love it. Ready? Go. Uh, my headphones are broken, so we have no music. We're going raw. Oh my, oh my. This is the day, this is the day this to is start the day heckling. This is the day I to start I heckling. Have, I shouldn't have declared this. So yeah. But, uh... <laughs> if I, let's, be real. let's be real. If I'm heckling you, then it means I'm already, like, out, and now I'm, I'm, I'm too sad to heckle at that point. <laughs> I'm just like... I did. That's, not, that's not true. That's not true, actually. If I like, um, if I make, if I make it to winners' finals and beat you in winners' finals, I can heck, heckle you in losers. Wait, you are so much smarter than me, Ruben. Why didn't I bring my? Okay, never mind. 
<laughs> I could have brought those. Oh, well. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, you know what? No, we'll just dump. Did you win some, you lose some. Upbeat, two stage. The one thing oh. Catherine is covering. Yeah, heck on the setup, true. Just like, after winning game one, being like, oh, damn, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. Oh. Hey, that's reserved for the uh, non tournament Muscat McLeod <laughs> sets. True, true. And in between sets. Alright, let's go. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I know, uh, playing Cap before in our set, it was really just like, up for up here, the game. Cap definitely can't DI yeah. or SDI it, like, well, so it's like. Yeah, as soon yeah. as grab turns into like guaranteed combo and kill, yep. and like the matchup just flips on its head. Oh, nice. Oh, good CC. Oh, follows it but doesn't quite get it. Cap's actually gotten a lot better just like Ooh. reading the um, Fox tech afterwards and just not going for the immediate down smash, just like following the tech. Because oh. a lot of Foxes, when they go for that tech uh, roll, they're going to immediately shine. So if you can catch them like after the tech roll, so like yep. if you can just chase them and down smash, you're guaranteed to get, well, not guaranteed, but like pretty guaranteed to get um, yep. 40 something. and. We love when the foxes hold down to shine. Mm. But yeah. Uh, uh, that works somehow, but that's not a stock though. Yeah, you can't really be grabbing ledge there. It's like, Peach, if, if Fox can make ledge with up B, it's like, that's why would you go there then? Mm -hmm. You just like float in that spot, right? And, okay, I'll well. Still, I'll still maintain that Kath has faster float air out of shields than I do. Kath's float airs are very it. solid. They're so fast. Yeah. How is she doing that? Am I like 10 light seconds late? They never work. She's just smiling. It, it's, it's a passive, a passive like, she has that, you know, she may not, yeah. it's, she put her points in out of shield options. Yeah. It's a good thing to put, you're on your shield a lot. Oh, that's, that's yeah. it. All right. Brad going, trying to go to ledge twice while Catherine's on ledge. Oh, uh, not quite right now. Oh no. Oh. Yep, okay. Where is the string control? There we go. Catherine up 1-0. Brad going back to Battlefield. No Pokemon, no Yoshis. See it? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Yeah. This is definitely last last time they played. Um, <laughs> Brad was like, what if I just start, you know. Oh, he's like, what if I just start camping? And I was like, yeah, you know, that's a. It's, it, it's, it's really important. I think it's a good idea in like any set you're playing against someone where your character is able to do it just to see how they respond. Yeah. Like, I think it's good in Peach vs. Marth. Mm -hmm. Where, like, if you you just move back and pull turn up so you just see if, if they can handle it. I think yeah. it's like, I think you should try it in basically any any matchup where it's like th theoretically possible if they don't know how to do it. The thing is, I think realistically, Brad, like, it's a feint, right? I don't think Brad is willing to, like, play the long game of camping. But he's willing to shoot, you know, yeah. spend like a couple of seconds shooting lasers and then like hoping that the Peach does something desperate forward and then punishing that. Captain I think very if, often will do that as well. Yeah. It's, it's always very funny when two players like play that same style because they're both just yep. kind of like meandering around <laughs> each other being like, No, you go, you go in. No, you go in. But like neither of them are like willing to actually camp. So, so one of them's yeah. going in. Yeah. You see that a lot in their play as well, and, two, and then like one person's like, "Oh, you always, you never go in." Like you know the Spider-Man meme when like two people yeah. that are camping are like, "No, you're the camper." Generally, if it's a defensive game, then both people are the camper. Yep. We love camping. We love people. Alright, I think I told someone else this, but I picked Peach specifically because she can't camp. Because if camping was the best way to play, I would have to do that. Have to, yeah. That's why I switched off Luigi. Yeah. I'm like, the best way to play Luigi is, like, you just don't interact for, like, 10 minutes, and then you interact once. Mm. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Well, good thing you have a, you know... You have, you have, a, you have a quite an aggressive Peach now. Yeah. Like... That's that's, I think that's how you should yeah. play Peach. Like, aggressive doesn't mean you just, like, hold forwards, like, yeah. cons constantly, but, like... You definitely take space when you and like. <laughs> anyway, enough about that though. This is a really good set. Yeah, this is. This is always a really good set, actually. They've been back and forth. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, I don't think that there was intentional, but it works pretty well. Can we see? Yeah, that should be. Yeah. There is a randomly good mood in a lot more ways than people think. It's still a lot to be tested out. Like, you, like oh, it's cool because like if you throw or like you hit them up as Peach and you dare, they'll DI to the direction where Nairs always hits with their DI. Yeah. So, yeah, because if they dare behind you, they go through you and behind you. So it's like a really good... 
basically guaranteed kill option. Um, well, if, if you're able to hit them out, I was there. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The oh, oh, that was a rare flub on Ooh, the outer shield, actually. That dare, too. That, I didn't realize that dare beat isn't hitting that clean. Damn. I'm still in this. Never mind. See, we love pizzas and strings. Really? Yeah. Nice, nice little That's wave. That's Brad. It's yeah. Honestly, if Brad has one thing, it's reading out of like <laughs> you, when you're gonna jump out of shield, or when you're gonna act out of shield. So he's if, got a really good timing. If I'm the peach here, I'm thinking Fox is gonna come down with a bear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, so like you just wait it out and then like hold down here and then punish the. Oh no, doesn't work. Brad finally goes to stage, figures it out. Peach actually can't do anything on ledge. On ledge, yeah. It's crazy. He's gonna go for a bear. He's not gonna drill. Because, like, yeah. didn't put out much of a hitbox. So he's going to, like, come down with a nail. Oh, he was there. patient, though. He didn't got to come down with anything, actually. Ah, uh, Cap having the right idea. I think Cap just being a little bit too early. I think Cap was, like, expecting the um get up attack, but just, like, went for now to shield just a little bit early. But, oh, That's what the it. hell? Okay. Uh, I thought Fox was able to make it back to ledge, and I was like, why isn't the beast uh, doing anything? Fox players. No, your character can't recover from anywhere. But, well, that's that's the whole. Oh, it is almost anywhere. Yeah, it is. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the problem is you're you're oh, behind. Oh no! You're behind. That's twenty percent. Yeah, that's, that's 30, a lot 25 percent. Oh you're my god. Oh no, that's up for up here, oh, Catherine. Oh, all right. Ooh, we love that. <laughs> all right, now it's up to Cap to you know. That's the thing when you're getting camped out. You gotta keep a cool head, yep. and you just need to like. You need to pick fun. Not FD. <laughs> not FD. Like, FD wouldn't actually be that bad in the sense that like. Um, if you get the hit, and also there's no platforms to reset. Yeah, no, yeah, Brad yeah. was using platforms really well to reset. Yeah, exactly. So like, if Brad puts himself in the corner immediately, then like you don't have to actually commit. You can just like keep a sort of like center stage, yep. maybe somewhere in between center and ledge, and then just like be like, what are you gonna do? Yep. A lot of times the box will be skittish and Ooh. put out a. Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, no. If that was bad, that combo's. Mmm. Sure, I'm about it. Which is the thing, if Cap can win this game, it really doesn't matter too much what the next game. Well, I mean, it does, obviously, but like. She'll have the FD game. Yeah. Which. Brad's not the best at FD. No. But... Oh, really nice. Actually covers it. Nice. Well done, Cap. This is such a crucial game, honestly, for both these players. Oh. Both. It's actually really funny because <laughs> I'd imagine both people right now are thinking, man, this character's so lame. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. the boxing man feature so lame. Maybe, it, maybe it's not the character. But yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Actually, no, I think Brad actually likes playing against. Yeah, he actually does. Yeah, yeah, he actually does like playing against people. Oh! <laughs> I fucking love Sales Challenge <laughs> so much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. nice little up here. I think that caught his jump as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Can she get the edge guard? Oh. Covers back. Bear. No. Oh, I can't cover the end. That's like easy to cover if they do it bad, but really hard to cover if they do it good. I can't define what's a good way to do it. It's just like a slightly different angle and like a slightly different drift. I think, yeah, I think Brad was pretty obvious with his up yeah. B, like drift back, but Cap's not covering it fast enough. Already. Oh, ah, oh, yeah, that's that. Yeah. Right, you have to attack. That's not gonna grab. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, I bet. Oh, that just catches the back air. Beats the back air. Yeah, it does. Wrong direction. Oh, and he holds out. Oh, that is that it? That might just be it. it. How do you uh, not grab it? Yeah, it thought it is weird. That is, yeah, that's true. Well, I'm like, because I wasn't sure if that was it or not. I would have done like a stuff like that or something. Mm. Oh, that. I. Oh. Down throw. She, Catherine with down throw tech chases of her own. Both, both trying uh, to one up each other. So this is looking, I'm not gonna lie, this is looking pretty over. There's definitely a world where the fox can win, but this is like maybe a cheeky shines play. Like, yeah, Catherine defense. Caf, yeah. Leaving it open to a to a game. Caf is very gimpable. Yeah. That's very gimpable. Very gimpable. But right now she's just. Oh, just a wall. Brad's trying to overshoot. Caf's oh, like, and just, I'm just and runs up, grabs it. That's it. Going to game four. four. Catherine to up to one. Stadium, probably. Stadium, probably Yoshi's. Probably stadium. Dream, like, yeah. This is actually a really good <laughs> pick against. Yeah, Cap, Cap nodding, being like, 
Yep. Kath knows what's coming. Kath knows what's coming. Oh. This is such a good pick actually against Kath. Kath is not very good in this stage. Yeah, Kath hates this fucking stage. Kath, yeah. It's so funny because now with um, FD being uh, not a starter and Dream Line up, we just go Yoshi's because yeah. like... Oh, that's... Oh! oh! Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I, I think Yoshi's is better for the Fox than the Dream Line is anyway. Yeah. But it depends on the style. I don't mind playing the Dream Line. Mm. They're both like different amounts of not good. So even though Cat's behind here, she really just has to... You don't want to see these dash tags at like... Yeah. These dash tags where they're starting at center and then like... Because, yep. yeah, you, you want to be thinking of that, right? You're thinking of like what the Fox is doing once you get close. Yep. And it's like... Yeah, and like a big... A big thing with Peach Gambly is just like recognizing when they're going to move back and like mm. you're gonna, they're looking for your stupid dash tag and you just take that so. Yeah. But it's really hard to recognize in the moment because you're, you're so scared of the fox. Just because the fox can go in at any point, you're just like, I'm, I want to cover myself. Yeah. And you do the dash tag and hit something. Oh, that one was nice of her because that one she like, she did a bit close and then pulled out the jump in advance. Yep. Like, she just dash tag twice, bro. Just before I wasn't ready for it. Look, I, she did it closer in the past, like, or like, yeah, early yeah. on that. She was doing it at like, face it center, yep. like, preemptively. To, whereas this one was like, intending to hit where, like, Brad was rather than where yep. Brad was going to be. Like, think, or well, at least, like, in front. It wasn't like an undershoot dash tag. Yep. <laughs> we love Brad. No. Uh, now I have lost my train of thought, but that's okay. Brad has broken it. We charged last time. Gotcha. Oh, uh, Catherine, is she ready to get camped by Brad? I love this. <laughs> Only in South Australia, guys. Uh, we, we have to... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh she lost a jump. Oh, Brad having a stroke. Oh, is, oh, is this... Oh, oh the bouncy castle. I, I popped off so uh, hard. Holy shit, let's go, oh. Cap. Oh, that! Oh, oh she, she oh, just gone out. Oh, she still she hits covers it. that angle. And oh my oh. god! I'm not gonna lie. That was sick. Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Brad shaking to Shake the core. And... Catherine oh. taking and running for it. Yeah, that was a really it's bad. It's last stock. Brad on his tournament life. Now this is where you, when you feature oh. like you know. Don't, don't, don't get gimped. Don't yep. get, um, don't get shine spike. Catherine moving forward, but patiently. Not, uh, overextending a little bit, but Brad not ready to punish it out. I'm not I think that's the problem with, the, with, um, oh. nah, Brad's having a good time. But he is probably mad. Yeah. I know all of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. oh, oh the second that's it. to cover it. Oh, the sickest two Cap stocks Cap I've ever seen by Cath. Into a clean game four win. 3 1. Uh. Can I get um, Black Shadow and Ace? We have one more. I'm about to hop off as well. Yep. Actually, um, yeah, she. It's funny when you get to access, like, oh, oh. slightly higher. Oh. Uh. Like, yep. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my. Uh. If anyone else wants to hop on Yeah, I'm going to be hopping off on commentary too. Um, it's been great commentating so far. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, we'll find other commentators. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I just go on. Well, did you do the honors and typing in the name? Um, yeah, sure. I'm gonna move the mic for a second. Black, Black Shadow.
All right, we got Black Shadow versus Ace coming up here. I don't, I don't know anything about Ace. I know he's an old master that used to play this game once. That's about it. Can't say I play too much melee right now. Good to know that I'm on the comms. Oh. What I do know is Black Shadow destroyed my friend Will D recently, so I'm expecting. Well, couldn't even finish my sentence. Oh. Well, that, that's what I was expecting to happen. I was hoping to destroy everyone in this bracket. I'm assuming, off of first glance, Black Shadow's the best player in the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure back in the day, <laughs> Mark, used to, Mark used to give Ace the work, but uh, we'll see how it goes. He's getting up to it. He's getting juggled, man. Marth can do that to you. He's got quite a large sword. Ace can do that to you. Ace can. His name isn't Marth, so... Yeah. Oh my. Oh my! Oh! oh. I thought that was gonna Almost that. creamed a bit. There it is. That's how- the only way I could've killed Black Shadow either. To be down, honest with you. Down to it at the ledge. Bit of nooch. Bit of nooch game. You can call it that if you want. <laughs> what, you won't? Something about predict any any HJ's chicken burgers in the chat? God, I wish. Yeah, I wanna. I tell you oh, what, maybe a cheeky fuck. HJ's chicken burger after this. That's what I'm feeling. Oh my like. god, he fucked up the um the light shield. <laughs> Why does that still have me laughing? That's stupid. God, I want a chicken burger. I should be focusing on the game. Why have I only heard good things about Hungry Jack's chicken burger? Yeah, but I I, I swear it's a scam. Chicken and cheese? Nah, Jasper. Don't know about that, man. Can't trust. I've heard the new, no, the new I, chicken's good, man. I've got a mate who loves the Macca's chicken and cheese. Uh, I got a mate who loves the filet fish. So I mean, there are weird people in the uh, world. Who is that? Uh, some some powerlifter dude, man. Filet fish, oh fish man. Disgusting. That's filth. Uh, Black Shadow just. Black Shadow. Winning right now. And does the mark killer correctly? I don't know how to do that. I just hold grab to make that light shield and I just kind of stand near the edge, I'm not going to lie. You pretty much got it at that point. You went to FD. Black Shadow's getting working! Oh, fuck! Black Shadow! <laughs> Black Shadow! And he just doesn't want to hold on. He doesn't care. Yeah. He has no remorse for the edge. Oh, he's feeling himself. It's going to be a cold edge at night, I'll tell you that much. Oh my, he's just, he's out nutrient him, bro. Oh, he, he's calling yeah. him out with a dash back as well. Oh my. Black oh. oh my. Gets the wrong. Delicious. Oh my god. Mark, Mark, you can honor. Yeah, he's going, he's just calling out these dash backs as well. I would get my dash back called out by this man. I think he is the best player in the world. Black Shadow might be. I'd hate to be, um. Mark is going bananas, I know. It feels like there is no neutral game. There's just Black Shadow. This is insane. 20 GX? Nah. This is just 20 Mark, man. I guess it's 20 GX in the Twitter name. Maybe that's tasteful. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's getting something started on his own. Bit of nooch. Bit of nooch, B. Finish her up. Get her done. This is filthy. Uh, I think you gotta change the game score. Yeah, Mark is. Mark up you, one. Yeah. 20 NN. Yeah. Right. 20 Nooch Nooch. <laughs> as soon as Mark gets a stomp or. Starts Ace combo, is starting to win. You're gonna see the two. Ace is starting to win neutral, man, but it's just. I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's a bit far gone. He could save this though. This would be a nice comeback. He, he hasn't lost hope, but that's what I like. He's still swinging that sword. Oh, but that's. Okay. Oh, oh, I that's gonna it to be good. Oh, that stop knee, but oh. He the stop knee. oh, change it back to one that's disrespect. Okay, and there you go, there's two. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, surely he won't miss the stop knee to get the win, but he does. 
and it was embarrassing for 10 seconds. It's just straight into it. Straight into that raw grab. Into another raw grab. No, except not really. It's actually... It's like, oh yeah, you can wiggle out of that. I'm pretty sure. This is scrappy. This is just scrappy right now. This is two folks running at each other. I should have gone Donkey Kong. I don't know about this. I think the sword's kind of working, man. I don't know what, like, Ace's monkey levels are at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not the cloud in Moscow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's good identity theft. And it's a serious problem. My sister got oh. identity theft once. It was an epic. Uh, how? Uh, I don't know, her passport, she en she ended up on a plane she was already on, and they kicked that person off the plane. Kind of crazy. Wow, whoa. Yeah, I know. It wasn't her. So she was on the plane with the person. She was, yeah, exactly. How insane is that? That's fucked up. Oh. The sword getting a frag here. I like to see it. If you yeah. couldn't tell, I'm a bit of a sword guy myself. Yeah. Sometimes. Mark on a 2k right now. Mark on a Wednesday right now. I feel like Ace has really got to get something started here to keep in it. Because Mark's just straight moonwalking on this crib now. On this crib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. You, you don't like to see it, really. Bit of AO gaming, bit of Garfield in the chat. Oh, Tell you what, there? that might do it. I, I would have done a, a cheeky down tilt there, but... Yeah, look, Evil Ace is going to be like, I clean up my sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Mark Jacob over here, because oh, he's right. designer. That's it. Brutal 3 0 fire <laughs> game. I need to take a slash. Enjoy the rest of the tournament, guys. Oh, what? I might have to get a chicken burger there. I might have to get a hash chicken burger. How are you feeling about chicken burger, Will? Chicken burger? Chicken burger. What's up? I'm just setting up the, the uh, scoreboard good. because I'm playing McLeod. Well, Ruben and uh, Bailey left, so I guess I'll commentate another set. I am playing next, so probably when this gets to like the last potential game, I'm going to ditch you and you can solo commentate for one game or so. Yeah. So I warm up. Yep. Um, nice, stream's already good to go. Mm -hmm. uh, testing, testing, uh, do I sound okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, you sound, yeah, you sound like just, oh, it's yeah. going to be, it's definitely going to be like, yeah, just yeah. like make sure you're like, Reasonably close to the uh, mic, and this when you like turn your head, it's, yeah. yeah, like it's like less. Yeah. Yeah. So about this close. So? Yeah, around that. Yeah. No. Unlike no. yeah, unlike the um headsets, you can't like really move your head as much if you want to keep like consistent sound quality. So it's time yeah. to keep. You can move it a bit. You just can't like full turn around. You know. Hello. 
6.7k to 20. <laughs> oh, this, you know, this is actually that, like, like, McLeod definitely has, um, has the edge, but this shouldn't be too one side. They generally have, like, reasonably close games. Yeah, Kai can definitely win this. It's just, you're betting, it's going to bend someone, probably McLeod. Oh, yeah. Yeah, McLeod is definitely the, uh, the safe, easy option, but. Yeah. I know. Right. I want to play Kai, so I guess hopefully McLeod wins so I get to play against Kai and... Damn, damn. Just beat McLeod. I want to, I want to play against Kai, yeah, so... Yeah, I yeah think, true. I think last set... Was it last set though? Or was it the set before I beat him? Uh, probably the set before. Yeah, I want to rematch. Alright. That's true. Who do we have on comms? Let's um, we have Musket and Catherine. Let's so Caf, you can just type your name. So what I was doing. All right, let's uh, ready. Is that. Yep, great. Oop. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah. Uh, one sec. I'll do the. Kai is not here to do this, so. I'll... Yeah, good enough. Yeah, great. Alright, um, yeah, just type your name. Great. And then type mine. Cap, Cap, type my name, Cap. It's not for K, it's for C1, you know, we've only been siblings for. No, it's because. You know, the whole yeah, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, starting, starting up. Um. Well. Oh, just. Okay, still closes out though for Bear. This isn't that big of a lead, but like, getting percent on Peach at early is like, it's it's tough. Especially now, McLeod's been like, labbing out some stuff with um, subfloat where like, if you get dead out of it, you just imme you immediately at like low percent, you're immediately actionable and. We'll see if he utilizes any of that, but... Okay, so maybe, like, stack up a couple of lasers and hope the Peach doesn't just go yeah, in. Yeah, you really need to, like, either... Um, if you're not catching out Peach unaware of, like, a dare, you really need to go for, like, safe-spaced aerials and lasers, I guess. Oof, that is... Yeah, that's an unfortunate... Yeah, you know, you got Battlefield. That's, it is what it is. Yeah, but in this... This is definitely one of the worst matchups to get Battlefield. Because now Peach can, uh play the trading game if she wants. She can, but... It's not ideal, but... Oh, it doesn't quite. Yep. Ah, oh, nice oh. little... Yeah, oh, that was, that was very... Very patient, very calm from Kai. I didn't, like, just... Waited for Peach to commit to a defensive option and punish the, um... Vulnerability period of it. Oh, that was such... That last bear was so risky. They definitely could have gone, um... Down smashed or down tilted, but oh damn! I like how he went high though, because yeah, the high, the high angle is really nice. Yeah, it's very versatile. I think as a spacey, it's so tempting to come down from side plat with a um bear, and like Peach is always slipping it out. Peach just wants that like misspaced like bear, that just get a nice juicy down smash, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Like I'm waiting for like Kai to come down, and I'm like, just just do your dare, do your bear. Yeah. It's like, it's a bit trickier to do it with Dare, right? But like, you can also just wave Dash away and like, instead of just eating the hit. Wow, it doesn't quite kill. Can we see a... Interesting. It's... I wonder why, like, he was definitely just facing forward when Peach was recovering, which obviously cut off his option for like doing something like a bear. I wonder why. I guess he was sniffing out a uh, narrow Dare. But in any case, that was game one. Um... I wonder where, where do you think the Falco is going? Probably Yoshi's? No. Well, I can see it since Yoshi's. I guess he wants to like get early kills and it's Falco, you know you're not surviving. Mm, you can get some nice little like early shines off the top. Yeah. No. Ooh, interesting. Goes for I mean the up tilt it's Oh. He's definitely playing this like pretty patiently. 
you have to, right? You, you really have to against Peach. I know. Especially as well, something McCloud hasn't shown too much this set, but like he definitely does is his um, power shields. If you like, it like the power shields are like a timing like read, right? You're reading that because you can't really do it on reaction. You're like reading a specific timing and then you're going for power shield to like beat it. So if Kai gets too, if he like keeps too much of the same timing mix ups with his aerials, and yeah, he's gonna start getting power shield down smashed, which that's always such big damage because. As a space, you like you're going for dare shine a lot of times, right? Especially like Falco here, or like yeah. Or well, even just like doing a laser, like you're gonna be holding down since you wanna just fast all that. Hmm. Why wouldn't you? Oh, he's getting. What? Oh That's... no. It's interesting. Kai's been using that like S smash as a way just to like kind of brute force his way out of the corner. McLeod, it's worked a decent amount of times so far against McLeod, but I feel like. He's probably going to start catching on. We'll see. Oh, oh, just breaks it. You, what? No. Oh, that, oh. That's, oh, that was a terrible that, blow. That, that was a How much terrible. did that cost him? Not too much, apparently. Him. You so rarely see a shield break, right? Like... Oh, it's Falco's definitely more than yeah, one Yeah, Falco's shield. definitely the one to do it, but like... Oh, quarters to jump, but let's float. The guy's scared. Okay, okay. We got a fresh new Falco stock. A fresh new Falco stock means a little bit less than a fresh, like, beach stock, but... Hey, you, you Falco can still definitely... You can definitely still see some beach stuff. You just can't, like... You just can't, like, blindly hold down. No. Right, CC is still great against, like... Her nair, her fair, her bear, right? Especially if she doesn't like. Dash attack as well? Yeah, yeah, dash attack is. Oh, he's, he's moving. Oh, those shy guys. <laughs> no, legitimately, yeah, like, maybe yeah. you shy guys defensively, like. Oh, that's God. a bit of a buffer. Oh, oh. that was. There's a, a little bit of flubs here, the, a little bit of skittish movement by the Falco. <laughs> But, okay, a decent, decent Lajesh. Get back some composure, get some of that Galint. Look, he's... At the worst case scenario, he just wants to stack up damage for the next stock, so... Oh! oh that. This has been unfortunate. Oh, no. Unfortunate not game. The time. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, that's so scary. It's... You can feel it unwrapping. All the hard effort. All the effort. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Falco doesn't want the floor. No. is lava. And he, oh, the lava hurts. Uh. The lava hurts. Yeah. I'll blame him. Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna warm up. I should probably at least, you know. Ah, no, nah, screw it. I'll... That, well, that's what the um, that's what the hand warmers are for. Yeah, you don't need hand warmers. Like, who are you even playing against? Not playing against room. I'm saying, like, you oh. know, get that 30 seconds. Yeah. That's all the that's all the warmer I need for. Okay. Ah, that's okay. A, that's a good. Yeah. <laughs> the netplay Falco special. I mean, early. One of many. He, early, he did like laser to F smash. Oh, I mean, I was thinking more like side B. Like, I know, but isn't that also a net place? That, he has a lot of specials. They're not, they're not great specials. They're like when, like when a failing business, when a failing business puts on a special to get more customers. It's like that. It's definitely that kind of special. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they're good, like just back airing on a side platform. Yeah. Like if, if uh -oh. They're, they're, uh -oh. oh, what a reversal. Honestly, oh. it, it sucks for Peach, but I think it's less terrible if you're behind because you more hope the Falco just messes up. Yeah. But it feels more scary for the Falco, at least that's what I believe. Okay. If you you're think, behind yeah. because you're thinking, oh, they're going to punish him. Going to get up head, nair, down oh. smash. That's true. It's... It's like... <laughs> you get so scared when you're on like a fresh stock against Peach. You're like, <laughs> I can't. I have to make this action. I can't just go from 0 to 50. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> 0 no. to 40 in 
Oh god, but still, he's got a he's almost a well. soccer fan. He's doing quite well. Yeah, like this is definitely a positive for Kai. Yeah. Hopefully he can uh, Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, that's okay. That's such a hard spot there. When you like as like the spacey to um edge guard, you have to like make stage and you have to also space around the um incoming up B. Yeah. I suppose if you read like the piece doing an immediate up B, you could probably shield and um then you know do something else. Like Fox could do something like say shield and like shine out a shield if Peach is like a high up B. I guess, but the thing is like earlier when I was doing hair warmers, like I was seeing how far like Peach can recover and Yeah, no, for sure. No, for sure, but like it's basically Ooh. if you're doing like shield there, it's like a read on the um uh Peach doing like an early up B and getting spooked. Yeah. Anyway, well, on the board? Which on the board we Jump, bum jumping jacks. Jump I and like jacks. it. Let's go, Kai. Attack all the time you need, cause uh, get we down got, in the game. Look, we got plenty of time. Yeah. We got plenty of time. That's why he makes his comeback. Well, he's got to win two FD games or one FD game and um, demoralize him enough to go somewhere else. I mean, <laughs> it's if you're actually good. This, this, this uh oh, the yeah, this. Yeah, I feel like if you're actually good at. Taking oh. Lasers. oh no, what happened? Oh, that was free. That was, well, yeah, but we all messed up at times and. Yeah. The Falco getting a stay of execution. Oh, yeah, the light. Just. Oh, that's it. Ooh. Oh, that. Uh, that's actually very big. Like, more than just a stock, but motivating Kai to try because. Yeah. I'm sure the stage saps the spacey of motivation and willpower. It's like you still have to, um, you have to keep a clean and confident head, but like, yeah, it really does suck oh. when you're like, the match starts and you're getting grabbed. And you're like 20 and you're like, oh, this is going to be, it's going to be 60 into death into, potentially. Or at least getting like, or like Yeah, into like a recovery mix up. Yeah. I like it, Falco. Oh, oh, but that's it. No. Yeah. Oh. He double jumped and then did like a double jump, um, cancelled now. McLeod being a, a good entertainer and keeping it even. Keeping it even. For the, for the uh, fans. Oh, oh is, no. Oh. oh! Still has to play one more mix up. Oh, no. Oh, that was uh, a really good drift. See, so, that's. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing. Well, good, good the, guy there. He did drifted a bit fast when he... No, yeah, it was really good. But then he like, did the immediate dare. Yeah, well, look, there's, there's a lot of mix-ups. Well, I mean, it was situation. just like... It's just being sort of spooked and, like, not being confident enough to go for ledge dash there, right? Yeah. Maybe. And, like, don't get me wrong, I would have probably done that exact same dare. Yeah. And gotten punished as well. well we've definitely all done, like, bad ledge options in the, in the moment. So I can just mm. make it go away. Ooh, that was a really smart float hype, actually. Just to like, like, obviously, you know, you want to like uh, float above short hop uh, laser, but like, he read like the Falco lasering forward and then like putting out his own like float near to just beat it. Um, oh god. Okay. That's, that was really, really good because. Yeah, this is last stop. This is um. Because uh, the Falco kind of, like just dropped down there to feed. Oh, uh, it's a good ledge dash, but then the bad option afterwards, and that's it. Well, I guess not really bad like, ledge option. Well, bad like option after. I mean, the dare yeah, it's a read, right? But like, well, mix up. But yeah, it just gets power shot. It's, anyway, it's me and uh, Ruben up next. Uh, why'd I fucking lose that first Yoshi's game? No. You heard it from the man yourself. Why did he lose that first Yoshi's game? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. But that's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to be like, it's all like good things like you were doing defensively, like a little fade back to not get hit on that last game. I clipped just then? What do you mean? No, like the little fade back. Um, I think it was on like your third or so stock on FD. 
Ah, yes. It's very like, subtle, but... Yes, I was doing a little bit of drift here and there. Yeah. Ah, yes, I did get clipped. Thank you, Garfield. All right, this is a big game, though. I mean, all big games are... Oh, well, Honestly, you mean the yeah. time, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a while. It's going to be a long one. Oh. So strap yourselves in, because we have a match where both people really don't want to lose, and uh, the best way to play that is to not interact as much. Oh, don't say that. We're not ultimate. I tr yeah, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah, no. It's I'm... hard out here. I mean, we feel like... I can't speak for Surf, but Fox definitely rewards you for trying as long as you have the hands for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'll be good as, as soon as you guys are. Yeah, exactly. The best play, the best way to play is to win. Is to play to win. Duh. Brrr. Duh, don't you... Why haven't we do been understand? doing that? Um, I mean, sometimes you forget. Yeah. It's like... It's not like riding a bike. Sometimes winning is uh, is actually about how many times you've won before. Yeah. You know? I honestly believe that people who win more are better at winning. Mmm, crazy concept, right? Shocker. Shocker. Well, anyway. I'm loving this gameplay. A bunch of SDs. <laughs> Um, so they're doing striking. Yeah. We're probably going to start on Battlefield or Stadium. Yeah. Uh, no I one wants Stadium against Samus. Yes, Garfield Nangs is probably undisputed. Best Samus in the country. Uh, Noxus doesn't really play anymore. And uh, Triss, not as uh, advanced of a gamer as uh, as Nangs is in the Samus in the Samus Delio. I don't want to, um, I, I want to move it so I can sit back. Yep. Yeah, I'm just scared of like... Nah, it, it's safe. It's safe. This just wobble, like, won't, you know, it won't stay oh. oriented. Oh. That's the only thing. No, I wasn't scared of like accidentally hurting myself. I was scared of hurting your equipment. Oh, that's all good. That one's Taco's microphone anyway. Still. It's a good quality, but anyway, the match. Oh no, it's Samus. <laughs> oh yes, it's Samus. <laughs> okay, never mind, it's an actual match. Like, I see a stalk. Oh just... my god. Oh. oh my. Oh, let's go, Ruben! This is a spacey This hitter. is an insane first game. Oh, as if that missed. Sick angle, though. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, Nangs might just be the best player in the world, actually. Screw all this best Samus, you know, as best Samus in the world. He's the best player in the world. He could beat Leffen. Just saying. So you're saying if he money matched Leffen, he would win? Yes. I mean, surely. He I, just I call it. I call it right now. I call it like I see it. I mean, look, if he beats Anthony, then surely he beats Leffen, right? Yeah, it's just it's just uh, simple mathematics. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Why did that miss? Wacky game. Oh shit, that bomb? The bomber? Oh, oh what a read! Nice, wow. Ruben's playing really well. Mm -hmm. oh, that, oh, that's horrifying. Like you're in the corner versus Fox. You're just trying to get out. And then Samus does that, yeah. Dash attack again, do it. Uh, he's saving this charge shot for... Uh, it's a special tool that we'll need later. It's a surprise tool that we'll need later. Isn't that like a mix-up? Like, if you get the grab... Yeah, you can um, do a DI mix-up after the grab to link it to charge shot if they DI wrong. Yeah. That is the thing. Yeah, Ruben playing really well. Just nares him. Mm -hmm. Grabs the ledge. You can definitely play the trading game. Which I know isn't optimal, but it's definitely... You know, nice. And that's gonna do it. That's just clean gameplay. Very clean from Ruben. Yeah. Oh, well, if he gets to go to whatever stage he wants, so. Can you press F1 in a second? Me? Or? Yes, I'm gonna adjust your microphone. Oh. Alright. I don't really want me to press F1. Oh, sure. 
Thank you. Ooh, we're seeing the oldie. I didn't think we'd see this tonight. Oh. Alright, so. It's gonna be hot. Oh, that's actually good. Thank you. And anytime I see like these hit samus, I just it feels nice. No right, bias here. You, you should be able to sit back now oh. and, and just like drag it down to you. Yep, yep. Just oh. use your full force. Oh. Let, let the arm extend. Oh. So this sounds like good. This is all. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Ooh. We're gonna see sneaky tip. No. Oh. Friend, it's fun when you hold it. <laughs> I have to change Busket's stock icon now. Yeah. Look at him, he's making you do extra work. Stop Doesn't it. he know how busy I am? Yeah, hey, busy man. Sitting down, <laughs> talking crap about the player you hate the most. Oh, just keep down airing him. Do it. What's the punish? Just a down tilt. That's it. He gets the shot and yeah. he gets the down smash. Definitely would have, uh, probably, I guess, F smash is the punish. It's just hard. Like, it's like tough. Like, what do you even get off this? No, Peach is the backbone of Australian tournaments. You, you can't ban her. You ban Peach? You're banning a couple of players then. Like you're, you're banning so many people. Yeah. By that logic, we should ban Falcon in tournaments because we have, like, Four Falcons. <laughs> I mean, we have we have Ruben. He Halen. just down has him and gets some charge. Oh my god. I like Peach and I like Samus Lax. You can't you can't uh, make me choose. Why oh my you, god, Ruben's playing so good. Why do you like Samus? Uh, the taunt noise. You know what? That's fair enough. I can't blame you. But, uh, uh. <laughs> just the. Uh, was it like? Mm. I thought I won't lie. When you said a short nose, I thought like Samus just wave dashing, just going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. That one's also amazing. <laughs> All right, strap yourselves in. I mean, oh, oh! He just throws it. What? Friend. Two hundred percent. Yeah, hit that Samus. Let's go, Ruben. Just, just keep making Musket work for it. He'll get frustrated eventually. Oh my God! How did that fair miss? I mean, to be fair, you say it like this. Whoever's behind this matchup gets frustrated. It, it's not a Peach or Samus thing. It's a, it's a floaty did I think. Oh my God! That lingering grab hitbox. Yeah. Can not need it. She really does. Yeah. Sam Samus is so poor. <clears throat> just like. So many things about this character are just like, you have to, I don't know, think in such a different way compared to every other character. Even compared to other floaties. Because when you like ascend with her, she's like, she hangs. She hangs in the air for ages. Oh, well, I, I know, like, just pull turnips, uh, down smash when you think she's crouching. Mm. Easy. I love people who pick up Samus as a secondary. Oh, that must be rough. That's like kind of your main. <laughs> you, wa you watch too many... I've seen too many Peaches switch to Samus, actually. Not, not gonna lie. I mean, at least switching from Peach to Samus makes more sense. Yeah, Samus is the better character, obviously. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm seeing on the screen. Ah, oh, he misses. Come on. Woo, this won't be an eight minute game. Probably. I like Musket's rolls. He's doing them at good times. That was a terrible grab though. Yes! Boomed him. Oh wow, good back air actually. Yeah. 
Doesn't turn out well for Musket though. I mean, if he's got, he's still got the stock to play with. By the way, Twitch chat, does the audio need changing at all? Do we need to turn up the game or the microphones or turn them down? If it's sounding all right, press one. If we think it could be better, press two. Okay, it's working. Nice, love that. Thanks, everyone. Oh. Oh! Wow, Muskie might run away with this. Oh, I believe in the Ruben comeback though. Oh, no. He lives this, he lives this. Yeah, but he's still gotta get back to no, Cuff Okay. Coffee Rex. Musket's playing Peach because he lost game one as Fox. And he took, uh, he wanted to take Ruben to FD where it's kind of like good for Peach to like just zone him out. Oh no. That's how it starts. Oh, there you oh. go. The power shield back air. Ruben still has a chance to bring this back. He just needs to find some space. And we have two minutes remaining. This could, you know, honestly, it definitely wants to play this at a timeout. Yeah, we're Musket could play this. We're approaching the point where the feature's thinking to himself, you know, timeout doesn't seem that dumb. Legitimately, like. No, you, I think Musket's playing the time right now. Well, it's more, it's also defensive, like, he knows he doesn't have to commit, like, Ruben is the one that... Oh, no! Woo! F. I do pay respects to Ruben there, though. It was unfortunate. He had, yeah, he was itching for something. Oh, he's eating the, he's eating the chicken burger right now on stream. Hungry Jacks isn't even giving us money for this. He's got the chicken burger. Boyga. Boyga. We will ask Ruben his review of the chicken burger yeah. after the set. Until then, we've got a we've got a one one on our hands. Oh no, this stage. Good stage. Good stage. Musket sticking with Peach. No. Yeah. Hey, why, why would you go back to Fox when you win with Peach? Definitely a safer character. Uh, you know, from the Peach's perspective, you know, it, obviously I can say this is not a fun stage, but it's just, you can get worn out with missiles and just have like proper spacing. If you're trying to like hit the missiles with Nair and not get hit back. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say Anthony's the best Peach in Oz. I'm pretty sure McLeod's Peach would beat his informant. Oh, that's coming down. Oh. Yeah! Pretty good mix up. Oh, he won that down to me. I'm thinking. Room playing nice though. Yeah. He's got his defense pretty on point. The platforms help. You can just like. Yeah, you know. It Getting to RB and then like land on a platform Ooh. or even edge cancel on a platform, very handy. Ooh. Ooh. That's alright, Ruben's Wait. not phased. Oh, he grabs. Stitch is gonna get thrown again. Wow, what a combo. I'm surprised Stitch is still in his hand, like... Oh no, for... you have for that, that's Stitch. It's cursed. No, like... Because like, especially on the ground, like holding an item limits your options. Yeah, true. Because then you can't like jab, which is like one of Peach's fastest things you can do as like a defensive thing. You can't jab, not down smash. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting at least a couple other things. But uh, you can still dash attack, luckily. Very good for Peach. Can you still dash attack? With you can still dash attack with turn. Oh wait, no, you have a dash throw, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, there is a dash throw. Never mind. I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
That's okay. I definitely forgot like. You can definitely yeah. do float stuff still though. First set. This is a blessed set. Are you even surprised? How? This is this set is only cursed if you're a coward. True. I mean, imagine. Imagine being a falcon and saying this is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, that set was cursed. I've never seen... talking about, um... <laughs> the Jack vs. Ace. It is cursed in that sense. Um, keep hitting that yellow stick. That's what they want. That's what the people want. Yeah? yeah it's a, yellow stick's good whether you're Moth, Peach, Samus. Look, it's yellow for a reason. It's because it's made of solid cheese. Through like a platter. Hmm. This is giving me an idea. Stream is sponsored by cheese. I wish. See, I could have brought a bottle of Moscato today, but I didn't. We yeah. could have all had wine and cheese and had a big yarn. I mean, honestly, like, you could definitely buy Moscato wine for five dollars. Like, exactly. Like, like a full bottle and very alcoholic. Like. Oh my god, he lets that go. That F smash was everything. Ruben really needed to hit that, and now he's locked into playing the neutral for the next 30 seconds. Oh more. Oh more. Oh no. Yeah, no timeout looking like it's gonna happen in this game though. By the way, if you're watching everyone, please share this stream out with your friends. Let them know we got some high level South Australian offline melee gameplay. Because that's what it is. That's what you're seeing on screen. Don't you want everyone to see this? Because I kind of do. I don't think that's how you promote, like, of all the sets to pick. Show nah, this, this one to a friend. Show this one to a friend. Look how cool it is. Look, look, look. Samus does a nair, and you're like, oh, damn. I have to play this game. I feel like for, the, for a more casual setting as well, the, the Mark versus... Oh, like, ooh. what happened? Yeah. Charge shot isn't that good. No. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Alright, we got the missiles coming out from Ruben now. I think he needs to zone Peach out a bit more. What? Oh. Alright. Yang's got some movement now. Just waiting for Musket to buy. Oh. oh, but he comes in with a float cancel fair. Oh, he's living there. This is still close though. Yeah, this is definitely anyone's game. Oh no. He can definitely, can definitely pull this out. Oh, the movement! Yeah, unless these guys are gonna stay full screen for the next two minutes. Oh! Yeah. No, oh, he's gonna live. That's not gonna kill, but, but. Now they're even. The next hit's gonna do it for sure. There is no even. Only is Samus dead or alive? Oh, that was oh. a hit! This is literally last hit. No, he lives no. that, he lives that. Never mind. <laughs> he lives! Oh. He, does, he does slow roll up! That's insane! No, he's living. He's living. Samus is so heavy. What Fuck is happening? Samus. Oh my god, he gets it! He fucking gets it! Oh, that Let's was, fucking go. That, that was actually good. <laughs> that was good gameplay. On the move. Like a bunch of games now. Do you want to just take my phone? Yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm only that was, in. Um, that was very good in both of them, but especially Ruben for like holding out that bit longer and having patience. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Two wonder names. We got a real set, boys. <laughs> And we're on Dreamland at last. We, s we saved the best for for almost last here. It might be last. Might it not. could be last. See, they don't have to go to Dreamland. There's enough stages where you don't have to go to the stage even on the fifth game. Damn, you're right. You're, why, re you're why, really just right about that. What? What? And yet he went here. He it's okay. Samus lives this. Doesn't get the ledge, but oh my god, that's insane! 
Ruben kind of using up B like a shine just there. Oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm not molding. I don't know, it's just like watching this, I'm thinking, like, why? Why would you go to this stage? But this is so intense, though. Like, you really just watching them, like, vie for, like, fight for position, fight for, like, every scrap of damage. And then, like, suddenly someone gets hit to the blast zone because they DI'd for their own. Or X oh. Wrong. oh, that that snitch was pretty like valuable, but nothing really comes of it until, uh, I'm, except for shield damage rather. Man, yeah, even then that's probably like bomb by now. Oh no! Ooh, that, that's Missed big. the stage. I need another, another stitch. One. Oh, oh, dropped. Oh, he could have picked it up. Wow, it just dropped out of his hands as soon as uh, the grab hit. Yeah, no, that's um. And a seven. This is insane. What a lucky boy. It's also the matchup versions. Peach is pulling more turnips. You know. Yeah, true. It's just more likely to get stitches, sands, bombs. The fabled beam sword. Good jab. Oh my god. Just he needs a down smash. A down smash. <laughs> yes, that's combo. He does a kill. That's insane, actually. Insane that doesn't kill. Wow! Oh. <laughs> he got fucking deleted! <laughs> oh my god. This is both sick. people, both gamers living to 200 on the stage. Yeah. Well, I can't hate the stage too much if he also gets to live to 200. Oh. No. Yeah, Musket's stand ups have been really good this game, though. Yeah. Oh my god, Musk are not fighting, but that shield is getting mighty low. Yeah. I mean, you can always like try and retreat to the air if you want a bit more shield time. Yeah, true. Like, legitimately, since... Oh, and Samus great light shield. Samus isn't going to try to contest that. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if she does, well, you're probably getting something out of that. Yeah, you're gonna, like... There's a real, like, game of chicken, kind of, that you have to play against Samus, right? Because, like... Yeah. You want to just stay in shield versus her. Ooh. Oh, Woo! another one! Yeah, good good charge, good charge. Not going to kill yet. But this is looking good. Do you think the charge shot will kill yet? Well, oh, uh, doesn't need it. Really? He gets to save it. <laughs> oh, I've been there. Oh my god. Oh! This is nuts. Oh, it's big. Oh. He's installing the fear. Can we get a this is melee in chat? This is melee. Yes, musket. It's not gonna kill yet. It still adds on percent, so if he gets like a gets a random nail or something. He has no grapple, right? Yeah, he's still gonna make it back though. Damn. Yeah, see, Nanks is pressuring the shield and trying to get like a smash attack afterwards, but like it's not gonna kill musket. Oh my god, this combo. I've never seen a Samus combo or floaty like that. Just pressuring the shield. Hitting him in the air and then grabbing when they land. Oh my oh. god! Oh, that's a feels bad Samus moment. That's a really big bunch of beach. Yeah, you can literally just. If you're really sick of the game, you can react to Samus' startup of grab and grab yourself. This is getting tight though. Yeah. CC is the down smash. Oh, oh. bad DI. Yeah, Ruben really needed that. Yeah, he really did. Now it's kind of in his. Oh, it's, it's getting more even. This match is starting to come Ruben's. Oh, it's... Musket's game to lose. Oh, this is definitely like. I think it definitely no, not a stitch. We got some people calling for a stitch in the background. 
Not yet, though. This is definitely, like, winnable from the Peach perspective. Especially now. Oh. Oh? Yeah, it's certain for certain, Samus is just gonna die to an aerial. Oh, wow. Literally game five. Game five, what will be the last stage? Will we see a repeat? Maybe another dreamland for the fans. Shout out to the Hungry Jack's chicken burger. Alright, now it's gotta go. We're gonna take the first one. Alright, one second everyone. Ready? Go! Yeah. Game five, we're on the best stage of all time, Ford. Good to see, good to see. Yeah, you would agree that this is the best stage, right? What's this? For Peach? In I'm general. Not at all, I hate it. <laughs> you mean Peach? I do. I, don't, I still hate it. I think it's good in like, Ghost Fox. That's about it. I'm not sure if I want you as my co-commentator. Uh, <laughs> we have two very strongly opinionated Peaches right here. here to we have two Peaches on commentary here to bring you Samus Peach and Winners Sammies. Welcome to South Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love it. Muscat taking a strong lead, game five. Muscat with the endurance. Yeah. Muscat's been here a hundred times and he's won 90 of them. Yeah, this is still... Look, this, this is gonna suck for the... I'm good. Yep. This is gonna suck for the Samus, but this is definitely like... You can like come back and make it even. You could. It just... It feels bad. You just can't drop your attention. Because as soon as you drop your attention, like while you're trying and you panic, trying to get a lead back, and you take 60, then you're extra fucked. Oh, you mean from a down smash or yeah, from, from a... just like, like you know, <laughs> if you drop your attention, you just get hit with a move, then you like hold in and then you hit with another move, you're like, oh, so. Yeah. Ruben slowly bring it back, got the charge shot. Is he gonna blow it? Oh, oh his head's off the top. It's really good. <laughs> if he wants to put the sun, you can get like, assuming you get to grab all that, never mind, I was. Don't even need a grab, it's too good. Excellent, thank you very much, Kai. Plus, Kai, for helping out with the microphones. Send this up. I feel so professional right now. Yeah? The most professional. I hope everyone's enjoying this. Oh, he's down smash, he's making me proud. If Ruben wins, we could have. How many more Peach Samus sets? Um, One, two, three. We could have up to four more Peach Samus sets. Formal? How are you getting formal? Because we could have... Oh! Could be five if he plays you and... Uh, if he... If, uh, actually, yeah. So if Ruben wins, he plays me and winners. And then he plays Muzzcat once and loses, mm -hmm. potentially. And then he plays me and winners for potentially two sets. Oh. So we could have up to four Ruben uh, um, Peach Samus sets on, on, on the way for you guys. It's pretty pong. No one has explored this matchup like South Australia. Yeah, well, honestly, we... Definitely probably the best at this matchup from both perspectives. <laughs> Very potentially. Ruben a little bit shaky, but he's gotten a lot better. But Muscat showing him up all four. Yeah. He's not used to my he's used to my peach now, not, not Muscat. So I don't know. I just watch Muscat and he just goes back and pulls a turn up and all the times I try to press advantage. I mean look at scary. Advantage. Yeah. Unless you're getting a down smash, I just want the turn up. <laughs> True. Especially on this stage. Hey, I, I, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying like it's probably genuinely a lot I can learn. We'll see. To see some Muscat Peach. Do you ever think of just stalling out on this stage until the platform, oh, like, no. gets to a good height? You know? Yep. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I've never thought about that in my life. I'll be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> a good being... height for the down smash? Oh, no, he air dodged right into it. Oh, he living. Because I was just thinking, looking at the set, like, you know, shower fort sort of thing, like... Yep. If I'm on, on a, if I'm in a matchup like this where... It's taking a while to get things done. Maybe just like wait for the platforms to get lower. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I've never thought like that in my life. To be honest, I'm just trying to hit the other character. Professional peaches here. <laughs> very, very, very varying peaches. And yeah, it is. It is your boy with the Along with your girl Catherine. Mm -hmm. More importantly, on the screen is Muscat vs Nang. Ruben, oh. Ruben taking the lead after a, a dismal start. Oh, he could. Oh, oh I knew oh. everyone knew both of yeah. those things were coming. <laughs> there was no way Ruben wasn't shooting, and there was no way 
Muscat wasn't oh, that, down smashing. Oh, that bucket. platform's a good oh, fight. That's... Muscat refuses to hold oh. in on the, uh, on the drill fair. I was surprised. I would have definitely down smashed on that. <laughs> oh, okay, so, no, because Samus would have to get hit. Oh, oh, oh. a crash 21% off up smash. Insane. Oh, oh my god. Oh? oh the people want more peach. Oh, oh no, Ruben wins. Insane set. Absolutely bonkers. And that's the end of it. See how crazy that set was. You never expected to end that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Muscat giving me a stanky eye. He knew what he was getting into. The people love him, that's what matters. I have no idea who. Alright, Catherine, we're up now. Oh. Okay, we have yeah. Catherine Kaiser coming up next. Yeah. I'll ask Muscat if he wants to join me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so mean? <laughs> it's all fun games to you. I'll take, dude, I'll take it like, if, if this happens to me, I'll take it. Channel is anger. Unfortunately, we do not have another Peach Samus set up yet. One is guaranteed to be coming soon, but we do have Peach Falco again. Really exploring all of the matchups here in South Australia. All three of them. <laughs> Alright, this is actually a really interesting set because um, Kath actually took the last set, I believe. Uh, and it's been getting closer and closer, but Kai's not weak against um, Peach at all. So, very intriguing. I always want to see my girl Catherine take it. Fellow Peach. With the pushing the pushing shirt. Very peach get up. Peach. Peach. Do peach ness. Let's go. I'm interested to see what the predictions look like for this one. Oh god, I haven't cut my hair in like three months because I'm lazy. Also, my voice is almost gone after the last set, so we'll see how we go. I still got one more, one more Ruben um, Muscat set to yell at, hopefully. Potentially one more. Uh, I have to reset the scores. Give me a sec. Oh. I'm tired. We're gonna have a bit lower energy commentary for this one. Maybe for the next year. Guys, that looks sick, genuinely. Uh, I don't know, it's a pretty 50 50. I, I'd honestly say, oh my god, wait, wait, we're in the set. Holy shit, that was fast. Oh, I know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I guess I'm confused. Kai's entire get out is pretty baller. If you can't see the fluoro orange shoes, it really puts the, the entire... I'm try. I'm gonna try. The, the fluoro orange shoes really put the whole outfit together. It's actually sick. There's so many layers. Kai taking care of the stream even when he's playing. True stream mod. No, this is gonna be this is gonna be a solid 30% brain power. I, I do know this matchup, so hopefully I'll vomit some interesting stuff. 
And I do know these players, so we should see. Ready? Oh. Uh, how do I change this back? Let's go. You know how to change the scene back? Have one, thank you. Yeah, SpongeBob's super free. No, it's pretty even. I don't know. I honestly have like at like at this level, it's pretty even. And then, like, I don't know what it looks like when it goes higher because it hasn't been played in like ten years. Like, I don't, th I don't think like high level Peach Falco exists, really. So we'll see. Good patience, my cat. Oh. Yeah, Kaios? I don't know. I, I have to look back through that game. I just didn't feel good. Like, I just wasn't... Um, wasn't ready to punish a lot of his stuff. What? Looking for Randall? No. Nah. Almost. Kai, a nerd. No nerd. Good pressure. Catherine, like, will just sit... Catherine's outer shield is, like, genuinely good. But she'll just hit shield too long sometimes, so that will like a real goal to get out. Kai's not gonna like give you the free shield pressure either. Like, oh, like all the power shields. Like in general, like it's really, really hard to get power shields against Kai. He just like won't drop with bad aerials and won't do like spam early arrows. I say that as he spams early arrows, but you know. Different matchup. Also, I might just be playing differently against Kath. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, try, you can't really act out there. You just hold. Yeah. Roll in. Hold chill. Just pause up. Uh, we have, like, maybe Trip is the best Peach in the world. It might be Keizu, it might be Lord, it might be Trip. We just, like, don't really know. But yeah, Trip is, like, the assumed best Peach. And they're all shit, so, you know. Um, he's beaten a lot of people. He beat Zane, he beat, uh, he beat Zane, he beat MGK, he beat, like, most of the boxes. Yeah, he's good. I don't know. I don't think there's any, like, really good teachers. I mean, he beat, yeah, he beat, he, he has a ton of names. He was, like, top 15 in the world. I think, something like that. Like when it was back when Smash was active. So I should Oh, Smash Bros. 2 is gonna be sick. Okay. Well, speaking of this, this is a 6 F. Yeah. I know, there's a lot of this shit this character doesn't do. Oh, yeah. Float out, float out, drop it! Fuck! You had the opportunity! It came right in your hands, Kath. So close. Ah, uh, but that's it. Hi. Just up before, where Kai's like felt pretty good against me, and then played Kath and like looked pretty shaky. But Kath are not playing bad either. I don't know. True. This can still go either way. Oh, scores. My least favorite thing about Catherine sets is that I can never tell what game it is by the the, the um the map. Because game one we were on Yoshi's. I don't know why we were on Yoshi's. Like I would be like, oh fuck, Kai won game one. Not looking at it like this. But then we're on Yoshi's again. So I'm like, who knows? And then we'll like end up on like Battlefield game four or something. You can never know. Yeah, Cass just doesn't like the big stages. Which honestly makes sense for a game plan, and she won. So, like, I, I can't fault her too much. Contrary to proper popular belief, it's actually really hard to approach Stacey's on big stages. Peach actually uh, does a lot with small. Yeah, like, Peach's scuffles are really, really good. In general. Uh, too many jabs. I had that was a good call out with CC though, recognizing it. It's risky to do that. 
Oh uh, yeah, watch, uh, so as the set gets more intense, Catherine will like tilt her head down until like you'll see her just like staring like with like a 70 degree angle up. So just watch Catherine's posture deteriorate throughout the throughout the set. Very intense. One of the most entertaining things about Melee uh, streams is absolutely watching just like the little body language habits of the player camps. I'm so happy we have player camps. Like, Nyx is amazing, Marks is amazing, like Light Shadow. There's a few other cute ones. Catherine entering her gremlin stance. 100% gamer mode. Unfortunately, Kai, Kai. Will Kai's clean posture win? Or will Catherine's grem, uh, gremlin stance win? Predictions in the chat. Yeah. Uh, Catherine's sort of like a lot of the time just like hoping for the lucky hit. Like, she'll just do the move. And she'll be like, oh, I'm gonna do this move. Maybe it'll hit, maybe it won't. That was good. Like she did the jabs and then she like did like the, the patient the patient there. That's similar to what I would have done. Ooh, double dip? Yeah, double dip. Very nice by Kai. Going on one. Now Catherine's like a boss battle. It's like at, at the lower her posture, there's like se separates forms. She's actually pretty clutch in general. Like she'll play the same in like tight moments for the most part, and she'll adapt to you in the tight moments. Like she'll take the risks. Yeah, such as life. But it's 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 very very it's it's basically the equivalent of FD for Falco. But I say that it's very volatile anyway. Like in the similar way, FD is volatile. Whereas the Peach can just fuck the Falco up. So like, it's not a guaranteed win. It's the same thing with FD, where it's like, it's so easy to shark Peach on FD, and it's so easy to play neutral against Peach and FD that it can just go the other way. It's just not likely. I hate this stage. Like, as, like playing, playing Peach, especially into Falco. I don't mind if it's fast. But playing into Falco, playing into Marth, playing into anything, I'm just like, uh, why are the platforms moving? It's like, they can just drop off the platforms, they can use it generally better than I can. Oh, that was just double spot dodge into Catherine's nothing. Oh, she was slow, but she had the right idea. Oh god, I'm running out of energy. When you say you beat me, you mean, like, occasionally you sometimes take games here more often than other stages. I'd be curious, you could probably get the statistics for that. It's probably like 98% other stages and like 95% are oh, showing a set. You also beat me on Battlefield that set, though. So I don't know how that means. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that was sick. That was like genuinely really good patience and timing by Kai. That that is hard to hit. Genuinely. You can't avoid it too. You probably just want to go for the tech if you're in Casper. Oh the Kai, the Kai back here. Talked about this earlier. Oh! That was almost sick. Catherine really put put on the ropes. Oh no. Oh! Excellent fucking option by Kai. Holy shit. Very good. Up 2 1. We got an in interesting losers bracket shaping up. That's what it is a very good move. This can still go either way. Like honestly, Kai's variance is mostly on Kai. Whereas like he's a, like when he, Kai's playing well, he's like can't compete with pretty much all the best in Australia. But he's not playing his best very often. 
so, you know. That was good. And there's like lots of little edge guard spots and a lot of little pressure spots. Kai just does better than all the other cargoes. That was smart, but you like if you're gonna call out that angle, you might as well just fair. Because you actually get the kill. Nice. No Tana? Oh. Rip. I know, it's hard when you pick the cover that stuff, but you have to sort of... You just have to pick an a angle and react. Can you two keep it to fucking Discord? This is not the place for your big room. Yeah, I'm really, so we have Kai, we have Buck, oh, we have Buck on the other side of the bracket versus Muzzcat. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably going to go Muzzcat's favor, but we'll see how the Fox is looking after playing for a 30-minute set. Yeah. Kai, known for being good on the platforms, FOD having a lot of platforms. At varying heights. It's possible Mark wins. But just unlikely. Mark is playing a lot better today. So I'll have to play Ruben after next set. Okay. I might. Muscat might not even get to me this one. That's weird. That, that just feels weird. Honestly, Ruben always makes a showing at these like big cheese leagues where everyone showed up. Last time he beat myself and uh, like the time before that, he beat Muscat. Uh, he beat my, me in two sets and then Muscat in two sets. Oh, nice. I actually forward smashing a lot today, and it's like reasonably good. Yeah, a lot more MSJ forward smashes. <laughs> Alright, a little bit of a blowout once Kai got past game one, but congrats to Cap. Thank you, Fifth. Howdy. Howdy. How'd you feel about that one? <laughs> oh, Cap is good now. Yeah, she is. Kath is good now. How are we all going in the chat, by the way? Hope you're all enjoying the stream. Hope you're all enjoying Cheese Platter. It's been a, it's been a fun time. The vibes have been immaculate this weekend. I'm very pleased with how it all has gone. Oh, Thanks, Garfield. Thank you. Yeah, oh. honestly, like I, I miss like the, the like this setup. It just feels different. It just feels so good. Like just playing in front of everyone, everyone's having a good time. Plus beers always yeah. help. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Must get lost. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm like, I'm like wait, wait a second. Why is he on the stage? Get him off. Get him off. He's actually no. No, he's actually got him over. In the hyper set. Oh. Mm, yeah, I'm just, there we go. I'm just trying to think about. Oh. Mm. Wait, so who's Musket got to fight? He'll have to fight this and then the winner of... Uh, no, but who's, who's he fighting now? So he's fighting Mark. Ah, where's Mark? Okay, Here he uh, is. There's my guy! Woo! Here he is. He's in there. Mark being grinding, looking a lot better. Depending on, yeah. I can, there is a world where Mark takes this, where... Muscat just like is a bit shaky on his stuff after playing Peach. Can you grab me my general. phone from over there? Uh, I can. Thank you. You can get out the chair. There you go. Thank you. It's like an escape room. All right. <laughs> okay, this is actually going to be crazy because like Mark, uh, a new newly graduating into high level melee. I know. Welcome, welcome, Mark. Crazy. Using it. 
somehow running into the best plays on ranked as well. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, I'm so happy to have my back grinding. Sick. Everyone's moving more and more to like the right of the camera, so I might just go over and adjust it. Yeah, go for it. Chive loses to a lot of people that are better than Chive. But he also sometimes beats people that are better than Chive. So that's why we love Chive. Uh, I'm feeling faint. But that's okay, we will game. I'll play 40 minutes of Samus Beach, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks, Caleb. And shout out to everyone who's chipped in gear this weekend. There's so much equipment. There's yeah. literally so much equipment yeah. here. Honestly, it seems like everything ran great. Like considering no internet, like no interstaters and everything, like all the. It has run pretty well. It has won. Yeah, it seems well. like it went. Everyone seems happy. All right, we're doing it. Oh yeah. Big Loser's Quarter is coming up right now. Oh my god. If Mark can take this, I think, well, this might be the first, like, if Mark takes this, this might be the first time he's beat Muscat, like, since I've been playing. Honestly, least. yeah. It's been ages. Like, it would have been at least, like, four years. I'm surprised Ruben come out with the, the Falcon at all. First must cast speech, but also it doesn't surprise me. Oh. That was such a good way. Must got really good at like the all like the patient recoveries, like just waiting them out and like yeah. Not a lot of fucks in the Yeah, like, I'll be honest, this is what I, like, predicted that the set would be. Like, we've, um, Muscat, Mark, and I have, like, sat down on setups, and it's definitely, like, not pretty. Plenty yeah, of Mark just kind of sometimes gets steamrolled. Yeah. Such is life as a Falcon, man. It really is. Muscat? Oh, wait, yeah. I'm double-checking this isn't hand warmers, because he just went from one platform to the other five times. Uh, I definitely told him that I'm ready for him, so this I'm is definitely I'm, the game. Yeah, I'm going to say this is a real game, but it, it was no, just No, this like, is the game, absolutely. Yeah, 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 I know, but it was just like the funniest sequence of Mark on like, the side platform, just like, up airs off it, runs to the other side platform, edge cancel up airs off it, runs to the other side platform. God, we love Falcon. Such a cool character. Yes! It is funny when he says yes when he on B's and they hit someone and then he does more. Literally punishable on hit. Yeah, that's it. Same move. Oh no. This could be the opening Mark needs to win. It's probably not. It's not. GG. See, we take the floaties off the stream, we drop eight viewers. <laughs> it's true though. It's just maths. I have to say, it's so. I don't know, it sounds dumb, but like, winning tournaments is so much easier when you win. I just remember we said that. The, yeah, we the, literally said that. Me and Kath were talking about it, and I was like, yeah, look, the people who are the best at the game are the ones who win more. Yeah, it's because like, you just win, and then you're like, wait, I only have to win three games. I don't have to think about like. The, Beating like five good players and losers. I'm like, oh. I mean, not only that, but it's just like when you win more, it's like you build up a yeah. Uh, yeah. like a pathway in the brain that's like the <laughs> winning the winning yeah. pathway, and you're like, okay, I can. You literally habitualize your brain into getting conditioned into winning more. Yep. But actually, there's um there's a funny phenomena uh -huh. where uh like if you. So, for example, like a track runner, let's say he runs 10, like he runs 100 meters in 10 seconds, right? If you trick the guy in practice that he's actually running like two seconds slow or five seconds, like, like a second slow, um, that tricks his brain into like working harder and yep. then like 
will literally surpass the limit that was there before. Yeah, because, that surprised me the least. Yeah, because it's literally just like, oh no, it's uh, it's like you build up a... That, your, a it's your ex expectation to run Yeah, that yeah, fast. yeah. It's, it's literally the expectation like, oh. theory. That's sick, actually. Well, you're right, Goody. I am right. afraid of the loser's bracket. I hate going to BAM and then being in the loser's bracket. And then I lose to unseated Spanish player on a controller with <laughs> with insane snapback. I hate the losers bracket. Shout, Shout out to Zardov. To Cap getting 65th of the same player, losing to Spider and then losing to Zardov one round later. That's insane. <laughs> I still love that story. That's so funny. I was playing him before the tournament. I'm like, this guy's as good as this guy is. And then I like learned he was sitting last. And I was like, oh, that's so funny. He was not. I don't think he was oh, as like, good like, as musket. I don't think he was as good as Musket. Uh, that was just like an impression, like, drop the head. <laughs> I was like, wow, this guy's like, good. He was fucking good, though. He was really good at, like, just hitting you with up smash. Like, he, no, sorry, he was really good at, like, hitting you with, like, three hit combos. Yeah. Oh! Speaking of not as good as Muscat, Mark is struggling to take hits. Yeah, he's missing very crucial knees. Uh, and he's missing some very crucial punishes. Yeah. Oh my god, what happened there? Nangs indeed won the Smash Cat. That's Nangs exactly what happened. Five set you've ever seen. Oh, Mark. He's just flailing with aerials. He can't finish this fox off. Yep. Mark's... Feel... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I feel like um, Falcon <laughs> suffers Mark Riders sometimes as well. Uh, depends. Like, I feel like a lot of Falcons allow themselves to suffer Mark Riders. Yeah, exactly. They like, go for the stuff that doesn't like, lead to kills. But Falcon has like a lot of... You just sort of have to change how you play. I think that's a general rule for like a lot of characters that people don't do properly. Mm. But they don't change how they play at high percent to actually look for kills. Yeah, yeah. Like watching Mask down tilt 50 times with like 120 just makes people want to try. Oh no, he catches him out of the shield. Muscat just one step ahead. Like, Mark will be in shield, react to Muscat not hitting his shield, and then Muscat will hit him. Oh! Like Last stock though. Last stock though. Uh, this is what dreams are made of. I feel like and Falcon's one crushed. of the hardest characters to make like a high percent comeback on. Just because of how, how like how, like weak moves just like knock them off stage. And Can then you help me move the couch forward a bit? Yep. Okay. That's a bit better. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, I don't think so either. He just needs this for If Bar keeps grinding, I think it's going to become very interesting. The thing is, he's always been a grind lord. It's just, um, his journey is just a, a longer one than some other yeah. people's. Oh my god! That was amazing, actually. Was really Not too good. often you have the confidence to do a full hop backwards yep. just so that you can punish like a short hop near with a knee. Well, it's like Mark's movement's been looking sick. You know, like he said it, he's like, I'm working specifically on like just all my movement stuff. Really good to see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the, the edge cancels. Oh, hits the nipple. Oh, good coverage. Mark's yeah, got some sequence. punish. This is some good uh, percent, honestly. Yeah. Uh, like, honestly, like, the difference between... Like, as soon as you hit 50, he needs a kill. And then as soon as you hit 50, down throw becomes a potential kill. And stomp becomes a potential... Like, everything becomes a potential kill. So, it's like, there's two sequences of Falcon. It's, like, getting them to 40, and then everything that happens after 40. It's, like, the same with a few characters. Well, and then... Uh, jab knocks down, like so much happens after 40. Oh, Cap Court catches a jump. Can he read the up B? Uh, everyone knows that Muscat's up being there. Like every fox in the universe just up B's there. Muscat bring it back though. Mark just has to finish his food. Like, I don't know. There, there's just like this level. It's oh. just like this sort of. Oh, no. Oh. He's alive though. How did he get out of that without getting hit? Oh shit! That was booming. I really want Mark to win this stadium game. I really yeah, do. Just give him one. Musket says no. I back at you. Oh, it's Musket Peach. It's not Musket Peach. Ah, thank you. Very good. 
There we go. Foolish. Back to formality. I'll tell. Oh, no. Yeah, I think there's. I think like the biggest gap between like roughly Mark's level and Muscat's level is just like hitting the hard edge guards sometimes, like making a read sometimes, and then like actually punishing it. Where like you watch Mark. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, he gets to jump back. Oh what? Rip. Now we that have sucks. me. I think. Me yeah, sure. we got yeah. winners finals now, and then it'll be losers semis later. Best of luck, friendo. Peach Samus time. Have fun. Oh. You can move the microphone. No, we're good. <laughs> you good? <laughs> McLeod doing the craziest maneuver to get out of commentary box right now. I don't get to tell you I'll be mad. <laughs> All right. Well, up next we have winners finals. Actually, crazy. One up ahead because we're gonna have another Peach. And we're gonna have another Samus matchup. So this is gonna be crazy. Alright, gang. Get your predictions in. We are in it for another slobber knocker of a set. This one's going to be insane. Oh, coin mode. You're on coin mode. Grab the coins. Imagine if we had tournaments in coin mode. I. I don't want to imagine it, but my brain is going there, and um, it's kind of hating it. Alright, who you got, chat? Do we like Ruben, or do we like McLeod? Do we like Connor? Alright, BRB. how to turn the headsets on, so okay, we're sitting here for a while trying to figure that out. <sighs> oh, do the thing. Alright. Do the cool thing. Oh, that wasn't Boo. that cool, I'm not going to lie. Boo. You want to talk about the intricacies okay. of the matchup? I'm just going to say this. I talked to McLeod while watching Ruben about getting hit by that exact charge shot. And I said, I know it's coming and I get hit by it every time. And McLeod said, yeah, me too. And then it just happened. So at least we know he's not a filthy liar. Yeah, we coached him. Yeah. I got, I got shunned for mid-set coaching Ruben. Too much Hungry Jacks in the venue. Yeah, let's qualify him. <laughs> get, get rid of this man. I don't know anything about either of these characters, to be honest with you. I don't know. You play one of them, Will. Yeah, true. I sort of lose against this. I honestly don't know how Samus wins, not gonna lie. Um, Apparently like that. Ruben just hits the button, it's good. Ruben's smart, man. Yeah. He stays to the ground, and then sometimes he doesn't. I think Peach's moves win, but Samus has got to do it better. I don't know, something like that. 
Yeah, but my baby brain can't do the battle of attrition, so... Yeah, that's why I lose. That, yeah, that's why I, I think it's unwinnable. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god. Oh, you got your... I'm always so surprised when Peach pulls one out, and then... Is that a... Okay, no. I'm an if, idiot. If you miss two bumps, you don't, you don't deserve it. Oh, he's smacking hard. Hard enough on Yoshi's story, I thought. Apparently yeah. not. It's laser here. Oh, wrong laser, bro! Oh, they're no. Just, they're missing their projectiles. McLeod's learning how to use his brain. It's over. Yeah. I'm kidding. Let's go, Ruben. Do something cool. Woo! And it's tied. And he's got the zoop beam. Ruben's got the blicky on him. Beep boop. Wow. Oh, look at that combo! I'm, I'm terrified at all times in this matchup. Yeah. It's warmed up now, Shabra. Oh! oh! That was it. At least he used it. Didn't die with it. Yeah, that's true. It's the saddest thing in the world when he dies with it. Yeah. I, lo I love that little Whoa. vertical missile. Bit of movement. Now? Yes. How did I know? Because that's usually what he does. Yeah, he's watched it before. Genius. I've played against a Samus. Ooh! That's a punch, baby! Look at that. I said it was unwinnable. It is unwinnable. Yeah, it is. It's truly unwinnable. It's better go to Yeem Land? No. Okay. Is that the one you would pick, Will? With your, your professional Peach experience? Um, I'd go back to Yoshi's. You go to Yoshi's? Yeah, you want the smaller stages, right? Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I think no. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't understand how floaties work, but I know Samus lives forever, so maybe. But so does Peach. Yeah, but like, Samus technically wins the... Like, the living forever contest? Yeah. See, I wouldn't know it. Because they're both just annoying to me. Well, I, I just want to finish the set earlier, so I just got a Yoshi. Uh, fair enough. I like that mindset. I mean, I just got to fart because I'm dumb, but... Yeah, uh, you and me both. Oh, a grab for a grab, an eye for an eye. I guess like, like FD, you can't do the missile, the whatever the fuck's called thing. Missile cancel, whatever. This is back to, this is giving me... Woo! Scary nooch yeah. vibes. I have that little dongle on my computer. That, I'm, I'm, this insane. is good commentary. <laughs> I don't have a dongle, mate. Oh, a right. Wi-Fi card. Yeah, hey, I should have got a Wi-Fi hey, card. Times. That's facts. That's how I feel. Crowd chanting Samus, Same. but unfortunately, Same. it's going the the other way. I guess oh. the crowd wants Hungry Jacks, to be honest. Yeah, I need to run to Hungry Jacks to give Ruben a pick me up. Um, oh my! What the hell? Whatever that edge guard was. Yeah, that was, was planned. Nice. That was sick. You like hit him with the like, plonked him on the head with the, with the umbrella handle. McLeod's never made a mistake. That was on purpose. Yeah. Oh, nice power shield. Oh my! Oh. These characters have a rough time putting killing blows on each other. Yeah. I don't know. This is a write off. Whatever. Yeah. I think we're really looking forward to whatever's next. I'll try. Oh. And whoops, a cheeky one off. This guy. Yeah. I probably should have gone to that. Nah. It's more like entertaining. You don't know who's, who's winning. See now, Woo! just Ruben needs to win neutral 32 more times, and he can take the lead. That wasn't one of them. I, I think Nang needs a second. Yeah, we were talking about Fox. I don't think he, he'd never play Puff. Like, he plays Fox for fun. His but best secondary is Falcon. He used to use it, but McLeod's too good against Falcon. Yeah, so. McLeod's nice against Falcon. So Ruben plays Samus. Ruben's tried the Fox before. That was. Okay, that was cool. I'll give him that. That was a combo. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I think, if yeah. I'm Ruben, I'm just thinking about where I'm going next game, to be honest. 
I don't think McLeod just played it perfectly or whatever, right off. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm just going... Look, I actually have no clue about the matchup. I'd go to Yoshi's, because I think it's fun. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Like, and you, kinda... you can kill people with a laser gun. Yeah. The laser gun is huge on Yoshi's. I mean... He's still in it, though. I think both characters like Spod. There's dog in the fight still. Yeah, you reckon, mate? You reckon? Yeah. Not even. And, and it's gone. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Woo! Getting a bit uh, funny with it. Getting a bit silly. A little bit. A little bit. I think, I think that might be a dead gamer. Didn't want to give him the victory. Game three, game three. No contest. Stadi any stadium enjoyers? Ooh. That should be a game he already started. Yeah, that's a touch move. Oh. That wasn't a very good time to counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, look at that little two piece, three piece. Look at that. I could, I could never do that platform movement ever. Yeah. My Samus is going, Uta, but whatever the noise it makes. <laughs> Weak dash attack into nothing. Pretty much how the matchup goes. Really? Well, I don't know. Probably. What is what is Peach looking to do in this matchup? Um, depends. Are you McLeod or Muscat? Um, you're you. Um, I don't know. Plain. <laughs> um, well, you wanna you wanna just wanna for me? I grab a turn it, I chuck it, and I try to hit. I grab a turn if I chuck it, try to hit. Fair enough. Sometimes I chuck it and don't hit. That's the big mix up. Or the mistake, either way. As I say with all floating matchups as Peach, yeah, you just grab turn it, chuck it, hit. Who's got the first kill here? Um I like it up. This matchup's 90 Zamus turn, I swear. F smash. Zamus F smash? Yeah. Is gonna be the first kill? Yeah. Or, no, Peach up here on the ground, apparently. Not bad. That's the, uh, the, the, the claw, claw move. I think, yeah, I was about to say, Ruben's going to clean this up right now, though. 90 10? Yeah, I'd say so. It's like 65, probably. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? We're all noobs. Yeah. We can start complaining about matchups when you, yeah, when you're a winner. And I think one of these guys is going to be a winner. The rest of them is going to go to losers. Yeah, I, think, I mean, numbers are kind of dumb. They're just like. Better player wins? True. Unless it's a bad matchup. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I guess with these, like, floating matchups, it's like you have to be better, like, more because your character sucks. Yeah. Whereas, like, with, like, against, like, spaces, you can just, like, do the good thing and they die. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright, we might be the worst commentators ever. I think it's just a universal thing. At least Kai's here to clean it up. Yeah. It's better for Samus than people think? Yeah, I, I have no clue. I'm just shouting Samus loses because Ruben's my mate. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yep. Oh, hey, Nangs is just amazing? I, I mean, fully agree. It's an impossible matchup, so then when you win it, you look sick. Up here, yuck. I think I bet it does anything, does it? For Samus? This person's saying it's really good. It's a bath. I'd be terrified as Ruben right now. I have no clue what that object does. I don't remember Nangs as 7th on the Australian tier list. He might be the, the seventh best monkey in our state. Ugh. This is a zoning tool up there? I'll take it word for it. Okay, sure. Ooh. Ooh. That was, that was three hits, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! 
Down smash. <laughs> Is that what your brain registers? Yeah, I heard the noise. Woo! Woo! True combo. <laughs> the first hit into nothing. Oh, oh, oh! Woo! Oh, Insane. and Ruben's got the, the charge one now. That's scary. If you're McLeod, you don't like when that happens. It's like Ned should kill at 150. Oh. Ah, he used it. Respect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, Ruben just grinding it out. Bringing it back. Maybe. So not Ruben, not, Ruben not needs... getting hit like that. Oh my... The Peaches are power shooting oh. the Mega Missile today. I've been there. I haven't known. I actually have no clue. I wasn't focused. Yeah, I kind of zoned out. Though. <laughs> I'm sure someone did something cool. Good job. I was looking directly at the screen. Yeah, and me I, too. And I had no clue. I saw the missile on. reflect and I just like... <laughs> was yeah. Blind. Not even the missile. I saw the charge. Yeah, that's what I had, yeah. Oh, Stitch face. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, right. viewers that know more about this <laughs> game than us. Oh. Ooh. Get over here. Get over here again. I want to see him utilizing these up airs for zoning. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben's putting in the oh, set, bro! Oh. Did, did Kai already do it? Did yeah. Kai do the game he for us? <laughs> <laughs> Ruben's going a bit, a bit go go crazy bones with it. Shoot the gun. McDonald's crowd. Nangs didn't lose a set. No. Can't you not go back to what you've won on? Uh, didn't he lose? No. McLeod won on FD. I, I don't know how melee works. Yeah, that's why Ruben went back. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this person said either way, McLeod's going back to back. I don't. Oh no! I don't know. Whatever. I don't understand how melee works. What I know is that Ruben just got a stock, bro. Woo! The gun. Oh, oh he was I'm ready. I'm liking this new uh, using the charge shot in neutral, Ruben. Fair. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was kind of cool. He's going to go down with a down air, because he's a little scrub. Oh, now he won't. Because this game matters to him. Dave's stupid rule. Yeah! Okay, so that was what I just said. God, I'm a genius. I'm going to assume that Ruben didn't mean to grab the other way. Probably. He could have been trying to do some extended bullshit. Uh, it was the roll read. <laughs> yeah, FOD's fine. I think for both. I don't, I don't know if they have to go there. Yoshi's? I think... I, I don't know. I don't know who picks what in what matchups. Yeah. Um, I know I'm enjoying this gameplay. For me, it's like it pisses me off. I just go to the smaller stages. So. Oh, Ruben! Oh, no. That's huge. That's big. But he evens it up. No longer huge. Or should I say they both did huge things? Is a Hungry Jack state? Um, I don't know. We, we were in a Hungry Jack state of mind when we came to this event. Is it like the Perth is the Hungry Jack state, right? I mean, Western Australia. I think it was Benny's. I want it. I want the uh, the, the the fried chicken. Which, Queensland bad. is a true Mac estate. Cool. He's so smart. He is so smart. Oh my! What are these missiles going Get on, him. bro? Nang's edit. Yeah, I bought that chicken burger. Ungrateful gamer on the screen right now. Ruben's going crazy with it. Ruben's going crazy with it, bro. I'm tell I'm telling you. Oh, insane there. Oh my god. True combo. Oh, the zone. The zoning again. Up air zoning? Up air zoning? Anybody? Up smash zoning too. Anybody man. keen for some up air zoning? I like low key want McLeod to win because they're gonna pee really badly. I don't want McLeod to win to be honest. Just just that. 
Like, I'll be right though. Oh my! Oh. He's so. Oh, who's getting the laser sword? Grab it. Pick it up, Ruben! Do the mega Sorry, move. Sorry, No. Oh, look at that up B damage. Wow, Nangs, go. Oh, oh my. What are these missiles? They're this destroying cool. the shield! You, oh, Ruben's realized his. Sh oh, it's back to normal. Oh, that might yeah, be a death. He's dead. Nah, should be right. Ruben's got it. Ruben's got 71% up. Ez. And he's shooting missiles, bro! Oh! Me, oh my. McClutch? I don't want to hear it. I want to hear McRuben right now. I think it's Mc, McLews. Oh, no. But, oh, Ruben's just creaming this up, man! Ruben wins these? Uh, yes. After the unfortunate... Uh, oh, oh, McClutch! McClutch! Oh. I'm terrified right now. Oh my god. My butt was popping a little bit. What is that? Oh, zone too hard. Oh my god. Is it, is it actually McClutch? I don't want to believe it. No, it's not. It's McRuben! Oh. It's McRuben! I bear him! Ah! Ruben just needs something. Ruben needs to, to hit him with a- ah! Ah! Crazy that that Nair beat that Nair. Yeah, it's hard. This is insane. McLeod's insane for this. Oh! Woo! One more! Two! Woo! Uh, not McClutch today, or at least for that game. Where are they going? Nobody knows. Where are they going? <laughs> Go to Yoshi's. Battlefield? Please. Quick game's a good game. Fuck. That's right. I gotta adjust the game before Kai catches on. Oh! We got it. Couldn't beat me this time, Kai. Quick, quick learners. <laughs> Ban Battlefield. Oh my, who is this person and what are their takes? Battlefield might be the best stage ever. Look at the spikes, look how edgy it is. I don't like how McLeod's taking, taking the work. McLeod is owning uh, right now. Yeah. What is McLeod doing? Oh, oh, oh. That's wild. That's wild that he... McLeod's got a brain on him. He's a thinking computer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Floaty combos. McLeod's really just put in some work early. Back throw. Ooh, but... Ruben's got some nice counterplay going on. He's doing some gaming. Ruben's doing some gaming. Uh, I agree. Get rid of the ledges on Battlefield. Insane what are you read. Talking about. That's a little cringe going on in the chat. I think. <laughs> the cringe in the chat. Yeah. The, on oh. the only cringe is people who oh. aren't going for Ruben right now. He scaled him with a charge shot and just died. Uh, uh, McLeod's, McLeod's uh, a, go a god game. That was a monkey dance, man. I'm lip smacking. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Let's keep going. Hope you're enjoying that chat. Get the uh, ASMR. <laughs> wait, wait. I have, I have a baby brain. <laughs> oh. This is looking tough. This is looking tough for young Ruby right now. I shouldn't call him young. If I ever travel, I'm scared to go to SA. All the peach mains. You should be. Yeah. It's a gross climate to live in. 
That almost. You dead? That's dead. Oh. Ah! Take the star! Boo! <laughs> Look, I had a good gamer. Oh, Ruben with the unsportsmanship. Insane. Ruben was LRA starting because he thought it was his last start. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it should. Yeah, if look. Ruben comes back, I want this to be voided. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him out, honestly. First, all the coaching. They got the pause cheating. McCart's rattled now, though. Yeah, he got the, got the pause in, didn't lose because yeah, of true. it. <laughs> Ruben is winning the mental game right now. Is he, though? No. <laughs> but he did take a stop. This is not over. Yeah, I mean, McLeod's it's doing, a little over, doing but the it's good, not good over. thing. And then Ruben's doing the slightly less good thing. That's how it works, right? Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa. That was a little tasty. I feel like McFly is going to get a stitchy soon, though. He's been pulling way too many turnips and not getting enough ownage out of them, so... Yeah. I see that in our near future. Oh! Oh, oh my. And... Ruben's still at a huge disadvantage here, but that stock forfeit thing that I brought up earlier might actually mean something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's Gamer. Yeah. Not a bad set. Uh, Good game. Good job to McLeod. Yeah. He's good. He's a real gamer. He's very good. Good job, McLeod. Keep being out here. Keep winning. Bad job, Ruben. You fucking suck, bro. Bro, they're, they're still playing Kanye. This is the best place ever. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. That's New age of SA. Kind of pissed. Yeah. This might be a I'll see if I can bring someone else up here. Where's SA Nick when you need him? Never around. He's like the... The milkman father. He went for some cigarettes. I've got nobody with me. McLeod's iron set up. He's coming down. He can probably give you guys actual melee knowledge. Because I don't know shit about this game. No, I'll just sit here and let... Bailey shit talk. That seems optimal. We've had too much melee knowledge. If you're going to review your um, your Ruben set, you'll get plenty of that, don't worry. <laughs> oh. The chat was cheering for you. I'll give you that. Oh yeah. Thanks, chat. I don't know. It's uh, I fucking love playing Ruben. It's sick. Yeah. You're both just good gamers. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Uh, I felt he, he, he just went to town on me like game four. And like he was just pretty consistent. I don't know. Caleb's asked you a question. I hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. To see Kai and Kai and Muscat in the uh, losers, losers semis. Yeah, losers bashing it out right now in yeah, semis. Well, this is unheard of. This is this is ancient. This is this is of Nick shows. McLeod's up McLeod's yeah. And <laughs> paving what? the way of new SA. Cool. And then Ruben beating Muscat as well. That's insane too. I know. Muscat's Peach too. Taking you to game five. What's oh, sorry? Losers semis. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I don't know how to game, so I'm gonna let McLeod do this. You're McLeod. So I get about a moderator. Predictions, by the way. Should we do some predictions? Who yeah, wins? I think, I think Caleb's on it. Uh, I actually predict. I'm assuming Muscat. Good job, Caleb. I'm proud of you. Who wins? Thank you, Caleb. Can I predict? Uh, probably not as Kai. Yeah. Uh, Boo. You have infinite Kaiser Bucks. There's not much point betting the Kaiser Bucks. Unfortunately. I think... Can I even... See? How do I see? What oh, it? what the predictions are? Yeah. I don't know. I think it pops up like with what the odds are eventually. Let me know, Caleb. Uh, this, uh, I don't know, Who this do you is a classic, SA yeah. classic. Yeah. It's probably Muscat, but he could just be shaky. He looked okay in the Monk set. Um, the fact that he, he dropped the set to Ruben. Yeah. Maybe it's... That's a long set as well. Yeah, that's a... 
That was a grind. Mm. Like, I don't know. This could, this could legitimately... Kai was playing pretty solid today, so, like, this could legitimately go either way. Kai, yeah. Kai yeah. did some really nice stuff on Catherine's piece. Yeah. So. <laughs> he was just styling her a little bit towards yeah. the end. He, he, got his, he got his footing, which is why I'm excited to see. Because Kai's biggest enemy is himself. A confident Kai yeah, versus a Muscat straight off of a loss. Mmm. I've still got my money on Muscat, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't bet against don't bet against yeah. Muscat if you're an SA player. He's the yeah, don't bet against the Terminator, man. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going, Caleb? Good, man. It's, it's been a while. I don't rock up to too many of these, but when I do, I always have a good time. So, if anybody's an SA listening, come on down. Yeah, please do. We love to see everyone. Yeah, it's it's good to see familiar faces, enjoy some food together, drinks afterwards or yep. during at the moment. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Cheese Platter. Yeah. Crazy that they managed to host a little mini major in the mess of organizing an event that is right now. Yeah, it was good to see some faces. Oh, that's great. Yeah, sad you couldn't go to today too, man. Yeah, poor girl. But I'm glad you're watching from home or wherever you are. Hopefully it's been an exciting stream. Yeah. I love that. It's just like really? Samus Peach and it's just like, what, what other country has just like two sets of Samus Peach and like everyone's actually invested? That's crazy. Yeah. What a region. I'd love to see you here, Jasper. Oh. We'll see you eventually. Big bad. That's a pretty crazy way to start the set. Muscat telling us, nah, I'm, I, I didn't feel that loss yeah. at all. I'm mad. I can't believe I lost. Actually, I've talked, I've talked to Muscat a few times. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I've talked to Muscat a few times. Um, in, your, in your life? Or like, just uh, yeah, just in general. Like, like yeah. maybe once or twice. But after he's like lost a game like this, and he's just like, yeah. it sort of turns his brain on. So yeah. it's like not That's always... Cool. It would just be like coasting. He's like, especially if he's expecting to win. Like, oh room. my! Catching that side B is actually really fun. Yeah, I would not be able to do that. Give me a hundred attempts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is sick. Let's go, Muscat. God, I'm excited to play more melee. Yeah. I don't even care against the grand. Ugh. It would be a shame. I I, I walked out to Muscat Woo! like after, after I love my set, and I was like, if you don't get if you don't if I don't get to play, you'll be mad. So. Yeah. Hopefully that gave him some motivation. Well, I just think... I think Muscat's a machine still. He He's the T... T-800 or whatever. The one in Terminator 2. <laughs> yep. Uh, so he keeps... He's got a full-time accounting job now. Somehow managed Ooh. to keep it up. I don't know, he's crazy. Get on him. Insane. He's, no, he's accounting on the side. Yeah. I don't care if it's... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thinking about melee. Yeah. Counts. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He didn't account for this. Kai's not accounting for this. Yeah. Kai didn't account. Who's the full-time accountant? Muscat. Muscat, actually. He's good on him. Crazy. Some talented gamers in South Australia. Absolutely. They're squabbling. They're just literally running at each other. I haven't seen a single dash dance. This is Look, run, run, run. Oh, there was one. I swear, this is normally just like Kai on a platform and Muscat yeah. attacking the platforms yeah. badly. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the set. There's not a whole lot of platform action going on right now. The guy's staying grounded. We'll see yeah. if that stays off. Oh. Nice little reverse edge guard there. <laughs> Kai's at a high percent though. If you sneeze on him, he might just die. Oh. Yeah, or he might just die anyway. Yeah, no sneeze needed. Yeah, he's, he just died of natural causes. Kai taking a, a stroll. And a glug. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, uh, yep. Smarter than I am. That's untrue. <laughs> oh. And back to running at each other already. Damn. Oh, Kai's assumed position on the platform and moving backwards. This is looking more like Kai. <laughs> oh. Panic option out of the corner. Oh. I like that. That was good. Just needed to clean it up at the end. Yeah. Kai's probably one of the few Falcos in Australia that actually does the DI mix up on the shine properly, so if they're holding out, you want to jump past them so they go in. He's like one of the few Falcos that actually use that properly. This is the commentator, commentator you miss when me and Will do here on the mics. Because <laughs> I, I put, I'm going to say hundreds of hours into Falco and have no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't. I don't think about the game when I play it. I think I that's just, the way they do it. Yeah. Unless you're a masochist. That's unless you want to. Unless you want to win, then yeah. sit on the left side of this couch. 
It's not worth <sighs> it, guys. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Oh, uh, I think but it is. But it's fun. It's sick. It's very cool. Yeah, it's just a fun game to be good at. Yeah, absolutely. Good. If I was to choose one, yeah, it'd definitely be one of them. Ooh. Covers the platform. Like, goes to bait, baits the, the get-up attack and then actually punches it. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Kai always gets Muscat in these, like, oh, juicy yeah. positions and, yeah. like, never finishes or never actually plays a mix-up. He just, like, hits him away. Yeah. But he was just all on top of him just then. And it didn't really lead to a kill until the end there. Yep. Muscat also probably one of the best in Australia, if not the best behind Josh at reading SDI. So like if you you when you fox up air someone, you want to go in the direction you think they're gonna SDI. Yeah. Yeah. None of them do it except like Muscat and Josh. And sock to it. See you sense. saying that makes complete sense, but as a fox, the first thing I'm thinking is just like, gimme that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking about what way they're trying to SDI. Yeah, it's just not Which you definitely should, that makes complete sense. Yeah, it just gets to a point where you're like, man, none of these up are hitting. This is really annoying. Um, yeah. I actually want these up to hit. Coming from a peach. Have you got a have you got a fox? No. No. I just know it because he does it against me. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Muscat's looking strong for yep. this set. That looks that good. Was strong. Good finish, jumps off. Damn, we got a tournament on our hands. That was I'm excited to see. That uh, was quick though. Kai not normally one to stay super composed in these moments, but we could see something. Oh, uh -oh. he's uh -oh. retreating to old Kai. But old Kai has beaten Muscat a lot of that, times. That is true. And they haven't played in a while, so yeah, well, I'm interested to see where it goes. A bit of adaptation could be good. Muscat just hitting a little harder as well. Oh, well Kai's he cooking. That was Kai's good. starting to cook. But he has to finish the edge guard. And? And? He just, oh. oh, that was a sick drift by Muscat. Yeah, it was. Respect where it's due. Oh, good job, Ooh, Kai. Good coverage, too. Going yeah. off stage, risking it a little bit. Well, yeah, Not too gamers. much, though. <laughs> by Sora yeah. SSBM. I don't know. This uh, this looks a lot better for Kai, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Kai's definitely in his element when he's playing a bit slower. And then, like, he'll just play slow and he's really good at... Not many Falcos are good at open you, open you, opening you up off, oh, like, defensive play. Like, from yeah. platforms. Like, when the Fox jumps into a platform or something. Yeah. Kai's really good at catching you on those spots and actually getting an opening out of it. Okay. So... We shall see. Laser. Oh, laser dash attack. And he's gonna. Oh, oh that yeah. was. The idea was cool because if Muscat held out there, actually, he dies. Yeah. Uh, that was true. actually a really good dare. That's true. Just didn't happen to work out. Ooh, good up tilt there, too. This is, this, is, this is the Muscat Kai gameplay I know and love. It's all the platforms. All about the platforms. Woo! This is a good game. It really is. Ooh, reads the spot dodge too. Uh, okay. I think that covered two out of three. Yeah. Uh, well, Kai one step ahead of Moscow. Ooh, see like those spots? Yeah, that little shine there to catch him. A little fall off shine, yeah. yeah. Just Kai is so good at Kai spent so long in the platforms, he knows if you're gonna attack him bad. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that was sick too. That was a bit of actual movement and inputs in that. Now we have a set on our hands. Muscat does turn off a little bit. Like, even when I've played him, it's like he'll turn off if he's too low up. He's up, up. Yeah, yeah. I was say up ahead. Makes sense. And it's like really impressive to see Kai maintaining it, but that that would do it. Oh, come on, Kai. He's okay. He's, he's trying right, to gather he's right. himself. Oh. The Muscat double shine at the ledge. Yeah. It's the unranked killer. It'll right get there. me, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it gets a lot of Falcos. Yeah. They, just, they love shooting the gun. I do. Muscat yep, loves yep. them twice. A little shield drop sign, I think. Ooh! Oh, not quite. I think that would have been slid off even if he hit it, but still. Oh, good sequence. That's, and that's, that's it. 3 0. That's that could have. Game. Damn. Alright. I think it's now. Yeah, it's losers' finals, Ruben. Muscat.
Oh, damn. I don't want to make Kai commentate right now if he's trying to chill out, but I kind of want to drink a beer. I'm happy to come out by myself. You want to go? Go for it. Godspeed. Go for it, dude. See y'all. Catch ya. Oh god, oh it's Fox Game? Well, actually I can't tell. Was it Fox Game 1? Someone tell me in chat. I didn't see. I guess his Fox was looking warm. Last two sets. Might have been a bit shaky at the start of the tournament. He might just go Fox this tournament. I don't know if he's got a recent win on Ruben with Fox. I can't think of it. I know he's beaten him once and then lost twice. But I can't think of the most recent win. Oh. God. I guess we don't have to worry about the fox. Fox line of thought because we have a peach game one. Ooh, that was such a good fair. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. Oh, we're even looking a bit shaggy. Yeah, it's definitely what we've had. Oh, this is our third set of Peach Samus. Could have been fourth if um Catherine had Ruben round one somehow. Must get really warming Ruben up for me if he wins. Really unfortunate. Uh, did I update this? I did. I'm good at this. I'm so good at streaming. Hell yeah, I'm gonna take the, this. Oh. Shaky start. Game one feels really important in this matchup. Like, actually, really important. Um, I don't know. It feels. There's. Because the sets are so long, it's so much pressure to make that comeback. And as well as dealing with. Uh, well, I guess he started FOD, so he doesn't mind FOD. But dealing with two Samus counter picks is just, like, such a headache. I don't, Ruben's, uh, he'll just turn it on in spots, and then he'll just turn it off in other spots. But it's like, but I guess it's completely understandable, because it's so hard to play this matchup for extended periods of time. Uh, like, it's, it's sort of just stay close, like, it's mix up your timings a lot, whereas, like, you really want to be constantly threatening the Peach and making her doing stupid stuff, and then you just wave dash back, or you just hold shield and do that. So it's like a lot of just staying close enough to the Peach without giving her freebies for not committing. And like using your projectiles, using your grab really well. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. You feel, yeah, it, you just feel nervous in the same sense. But you don't have to sort of worry about SDing for no reason. It's just like normally the, normally the set's over and like someone made an outplay. Unless something like really unlucky happened. Like last set versus this. So it's like, it, it is and it isn't. Because you're not really worried about your own execution. You're more worried about what you do and your opponent does. So it's both easier and harder to play than all matchups. But it is just long. It's draining. Like, I got off the set and I'm just like, holy fuck, I feel drained. When I just played Ruben. Yeah, except Goody, the fact they have to get to game 5 last stop situations playing a floaty. Nah, what Goody, what Goody says, actually, it, it is legitimately true, just because um, they don't have the threat, like, it's a lot like, they don't have the same threat of screwing up tech that Spacey's do, and they don't have the same pressure to press, like, they don't, so, their, their character doesn't suddenly shut down if they, like, lose their brain and their ability to press buttons. And also, they've sort of, like, been conditioned to play those slower, like, the slower patient game a lot more than Spacey's have. Whereas, like, when it gets to the game 5 last set and both players are slowing it down, floaties are, like, a lot more standardized and used to it and, like, not, not willing, like, not, d don't, they don't really do, oh, okay.
This might be a counter pick war. Like, because I'm pretty, like, Muscat almost certainly will counter pick Fox if Ruben stays Falcon. And Muscat's Fox, like, impeccable against Falcon for the most part. One of his best matchups. But, being a, being, swapping from a, a five jump squat, squat character to a three jump squat character with no warm up is legitimately really difficult. Especially when you're swapping to the three jump squat character like Fox, where it like really matters. So we'll see. This is going to be an in interesting set. set. Damn, Ruben's like this is like Ruben's gone. Um, like his Falcon's legitimately really good, and like Muscat's. The only Peach Muscat's touched is like in PM for like the last year and like random on ranked. I'm saying if um, it is four, I'm saying if Muscat wants to switch between Peach and Fox. Yeah, he probably hit. Like, to be honest, like, he'll probably lose if he stays Falcon. Yeah, that's right, man. Um. So this might just be a legitimate counter pick war, but like if you're in a counter pick war and you're an upper game, that's a really good position to be in. But also, um, the the good thing for Ruben is uh, potentially if he wins this and he gets the game five on a counter pick war, he gets um, Pokemon Stadium still open. So we'll see. That actually could have been really smart of him to use Yoshi Story instead of Stadium here. Because if he uses Yoshi Story and wins this, then um, Stadium's still open for his Samus. So I don't know if he was thinking that far ahead, but it was a really, really smart stage pick by um, Ruben. Yeah, you can tell he's a Samus player, whereas F Tilt and his up tilt. Ruben's got the most annoying uh, Falcon F Tilt in the country. We've got the chant in the crowd, guys. Cheer it from home. Let us hear you. Oh, that's it. That is the power of Hungry Jack. Hey, in the chat, again, if you're SA, come down. Everyone's chill down here. Always a lot of fun. I'm having, oh, like, the, the, I, like, there's nothing. I'm, I'm so happy when I'm at these tournaments. Like, the vibes in the air are just, like, so good. Talking to everyone is so nice. So everyone's having a lot of fun, and it's still, like, seriously competitive. Dude, Ruben's got the cheekiest smiles. It's actually insane. Love to see you all here. Hopefully, see you all for the next big cheese, even though this one was uh, glorified local. Unfortunately, we can get quite all the SA gamers. Still literally two top five members. Uh, not currently in attendance. That's how stacked we are. And it's still a fucking sick tournament. Surely you do both. You do, uh, do SA and Genesis. It's like, the, they're equivalent. Yeah, I know. I messaged, I mess. I, I, I did this on stream, I messaged Nick, and he was like, oh, Path of Exile, new expansion dropped yesterday, so I was, and I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, well. We love Nick. I get it. I'm just happy we well, we got four of the boys, which is sick. And we got like a bunch of the other really good players. And I'm having a ton of fun, so it, like honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. We need we need supportive bullying to get him to show up next time. Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. Oh, I'll update the skills. Wait, so how would have counter pick picking even gone here? Like he said, FD Peach. Wait, no, he would like he would have had the counter pick. So he was like, Ruben's like he was like FD. Ruben said Samus, and then Muscat said, Okay, you're going Samus. I'll go Peach, which makes sense. Um, if I if I if I st if I feel up to it, I'm down, man. Huh? 
Oh, didn't see that. Ah. Uh, I was just excited, yeah. I don't know, hopefully, I want, yeah, I'll, I'll just, <laughs> it doesn't matter how many people show up, I'm just gonna like consistently run weeklies. Just so people, just so people can show up and they'll like be, there'll be a tournament there and there'll be like events. I don't know, I love this scene too much. It's too sick. But speaking of that, Muscat taking a huge lead. A spacey two stock is definitely like the equivalent to like, I mean a floaty two stock is like the equivalent to like an easy, like a spacey ditto three stock. If it's a low percent two stock, it could be four. I'll try my best, Josh. I'm feeling good. Like, I think I'll win. Oh god, that, 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 that one's gonna be a bit harder, Josh. We'll see, we'll try. Uh, I still have so much shit to do when I get home, but that's okay. We're having fun, we're thinking. Oh, 6.30, oh my god, we, we went, this has almost been stream up for four hours. I guess that's what multiple sets of Samus Peach would do to you. And we could still have two more sets after this. Oh, Muscat looking a lot more dominant in this set. Hey, guy. What? Nope. Bailey, is yours? I know, right? You could, you could come here sometime, do a road trip. We were thinking about doing a road trip down to Vic, but all the COVID shit happened, so very unfortunate. Oh, well. Such is life. I still, uh, like, hopefully I want to get... Yeah, I, I, I th I'm planning on going to the Orb locals. I know Lax is as well. Hopefully we can get, like, turn it into a little mini-major in Sydney before everyone goes to Genesis. What's up, everyone? Howdy. I'm back. I have food. And I have a beer. Oh, that looks so good. What the hell? I'm jealous. Go upstairs. Go Wait, upstairs. there's food upstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, Michael's doing it. Oh! Yeah. It's a, there's pasta, burger, uh, banh mi, and uh, something vegetarian. Damn, okay. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed my commentary. Bye <laughs> bye. In the meantime. Oh my god, Musket's just got such good neutral. Until he rolls into a grab like that. Oh shit. I kind of like this matchup a lot for Ruben, but right now he's getting, I don't know, just um, a bit rocked, shall we say? Wow. 
Wow, that bit him, and then much of the photo of his shoe. Oh shit! The elbow! Oh, he keeps it going! More high pairs. Oh, that was actually gonna be really good. It's fine, he's got the thing. This is looking good for him, though. No, not gonna lie, this is looking good for him. He just needs to keep these combos up. Oh! Good DI from Muscle, uh, though. He didn't get hit by the cage. Okay, oh, that was a good recovery there. That was almost insane. That was almost insane. It doesn't matter, he gets the stock, it's all good. The Falcon Punch is all part of the plan. Wait, oh! never mind. 
As I say that, this could be the start of something beautiful. In the words of Black Shadow, it takes guts to be amazing. Alright. Ruben just literally can't get hit. He has one last chance. He makes it back. Does not get the tech chase. But he hits the shield. This is it. This is it. This is Ruben's one opportunity. Oh! We're just attacking out a shield out here. Like Savage just... Oh no! Oh no, this is a... This is a... Oh, it doesn't matter. This will be... He can't get hit. He literally cannot get hit. Oh my god, how did he find that grab? How did he find that grab? And that's it. Amazing game, guys. Amazing game, amazing game. Up next, though. Play pretty well. Ruben played really well too, honestly. And can we get a shout out to Michael upstairs cooking up the goods? Both McLeod and I are eating one of his burgers and they are sensational. We got a little, uh, we got a little, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Mutual, mutual relief, mutual aid. Upstairs with the uh, community kitchen. Yeah, I just got it upstairs. Michael's cooking it. He came in and he's like, yeah, I'm doing catering. I'm making food for everyone because that's how I'm going to serve the people. coming up. It's all coming up McLeod right now. But, but good news, I have a beer, so I'm happy again. That's not good, but safe. <laughs> it's alright, it's COVID safe. They both have drinks. It is totally COVID safe. Alright, some warm-ups. But first things first, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the cheese platter so far. We're going to have grand finals up very soon. But first, got to make some coin. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe. Or hit us up on Coffee or my Patreon if you really want to support monthly. If you want to support monthly, definitely support my Patreon. Um, and I'm gonna run a quick ad so I get some points. If you're still here, thank you for sticking by. You can follow our social media just about everywhere. Um, you guys can keep warming warming up for like another 30 seconds. Um, yeah, so you can follow our socials, everyone. You can uh, hit us up by typing exclamation mark socials in the chat. Because we do this shit every month. Um, we don't have the beers and the food every month. However, um, we are here every month doing locals. 
which is the backbone of community. I'm glad everyone's shown up today because, um, I don't know, when you go to run one of these events, it's like you never know how it's kind of going to, kind of going to go over. Um, you don't know how many people are going to turn up and what the vibes are. But i got to say, the vibes have been really good. Don't forget, if you got Twitch Prime you haven't used it, you can also use it here. You can get my head doing a big laughing face. You can get Alex PCG Scott's head doing a big smile. You can, do, you can get a little big cheese emote. And you can also get a cute little Falco drawn by my lovely partner. But enough of that, we're getting into the first. Oh wait, no. McLeod's not back on the setup yet. Yeah, that Coke WoW ad sucks, by the way. Oh my god, I, I, it's one of those things where it's like you wish you could pay money that, so that you can never hear it again or see it again, but like, that's just the time, that's just the timeline we live in. That's, a, that's our reality. All right, but without further ado, we have Grand Finals of the Cheese Platter. And if we haven't already started that, please put in some predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, striking underway. I'm gonna quickly tweet out the stream. Oh, predictions are closed, I see. Never mind. And of course they were in the wrong port. No, I had the the information right the first time. For some reason in my mind, I was like, yeah, Musket's Peach, definitely. What is wrong with me? Very foolish of me to think that. Oh, that's not gonna kill, but that was a really good edge guard. Alright, who's your money on everyone? What cloud or musket? Get your predictions in. So far we got 5.7k on I assume. Actually, I can't tell. I can't tell from where I'm sitting. Sock says McLeod 3-2. Sox uh, that McLeod's just gonna win the winners side grand finals. I mean it's it's not impossible, right? But like would be crazy to see. Let's just say that. Oh, big down smash. 
I think Musket definitely has a bit of a fire inside of it. Musket 3030? Coffee Rex with a big claim. I can see it. I can see a Musket 3-0 in first set. Absolutely. Um, surely you are allowed to bend the predictions, but I don't know how it works. Alright. Um Musket with a 1-0 so far. Looking pretty good. Alright though. Gonna go straight into the FD pick, it looks like from McLeod. Ready? Go! This might be melee, by the way. This may or may not be melee. Just uh just putting that out there. But oh, careful. Big up there, up there. Must be looking really strong on my car's counter pick, I gotta say. Oh! Oh no, big wonder! Big wonder! Nice though, he still cleans it up, but damn, that, that really hurts. That really, really hurts. But finally, McLeod with the chain grab. Can he finish his food? Can be the near off stage, he has to finish his edge guard, and he does. Really clean, just floats out there with the forward air, catching the angle towards the ledge. Really smart. Thank you for the follows, guys. Metal Reaper and Coach Chance. If you're watching and you haven't followed already, please do so. We stream lots of South Australian melee. Make sure to hit us on up. Hit us up on YouTube as well at SA Smash TV on YouTube. That's where all the mod archives will end up after this tournament's over. I am saying Muscat. I'm just uh, Australian, right? That's just how we say Muscat. I can say I can, okay. I can enunciate the cat if I really want, but like. You can really just say musket. Musket. Like, the way Australians say maze when they're quick, it sounds like a uh sound. It's musket. It's muts is musket. Speaking of which, musket or muskrat. Speaking of muskrat, I'm gonna take that one with the up smash. I think um, we're probably gonna go back to FD. Um, but damn, that's a. 2-0 up for the musket right now. Pretty crazy. He's looking pretty good. Let's, let's just pull it like it is. So here we are. Back to FD. And the down smashes are coming out from McLeod. Not one you want to see. Careful. McLeod might have this edge guard. Oh my god. Oh my god, sick back air, actually. I love melee! Chat boss, just for that, you're getting mod. Look, 
I, I'm happy to give people mod for melee levels. Oh, boom! Oh, he goes to the left, but somehow misses? I think maybe he was too close? It was really hard to tell. Oh, damn. Oh, good tech though. Oh, and the Venom! What happened? Alright, Musket going for the infinite. Fails the turnaround though. He's going really he's playing really well though. Oh, oh! He just keeps nearing him! Oh, he lands back on stage! That has to find this soon. There we go. CC down smash. Well done. Musket knows. He did that there. Cloud with a tech chase, nothing just yet. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a punish! How did he not get hit by the parasol? And right now, Musket's just getting the better, uh, like the, the better trade most of the time. Like, You'd think Peach would just be winning a lot of these situations, but like, Musket's actually somehow getting the hits. Oh, what a tech chase. McCloud commits with a dash attack. That was close, though. Well done to McCloud on the board for the first set. Alright, well done to him. Cloud now has to fly on, on uh, Musket's counter pick. We've gone to Stadium, and I honestly think Red Cloud's not too bad on the stage. Um, but you know, you get platforms. Oh my god, what a mix up! That was just a great first stop from Cloud. Yeah, we might be in for a game 10. Like, it could happen. It literally could happen. Wow. Looking pretty good for... McLeod on this game. He's warmed up. He's playing really well. Yeah, McLeod might use his beer money. He just spent 10 bucks on two burgers upstairs. He wants to be out of the tournament so he can sink a couple. I know that's how I felt. Just saying. But. I can't speak for everyone. Yeah, you can get two birds for 10 bucks up here. Michael's cooking up the goods. <laughs> well, look, I feel like Michael does actually, like, do a bit of community kitchen effort uh, here back every now and then. But, um, yeah, just this weekend he was like, yeah, I'm doing catering. He's upstairs in Rumors Cafe in the kitchen. I mean, you might be able to expect it when we run, eventually run a big cheese, if I'm being honest. Ooh. Musk is pulling the trigger a bit early there. Finds the grab and he's. Finally, starting to bring this one back. Yeah, look, SA is all about what you put into it, guys. Just like our Smash scene is literally just put on the backs and shoulders of the people who are like, you know, putting in the work, the time, the effort, the labor, the money, just so that everyone gets to have a good time and we all get to have what we want. You know, it's very nice. But, let's get somehow even the stocks. Oh, he's found the shines. And he's keeping up this edge guard really good. 
Nice. You don't, you don't have to spend your money here, Coffee Rex. I'm just saying. Oh. Nice punish. Shields the up smash. But Yamaklot's got to fight his way out of the corner against that laser. Happy. There it is. Tier 1 from Coffee Rex. And we're going to game 5. Thank you very much, mate. Spam some evotes. Spam my head. We got a game five. We might be going back to um, Stadium G, to be honest. Ready? Go! The final game of the best set. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. How good are those heads? I actually like them together. It's a funny little group. Musket 3 2 3 0. I mean, if Musket was this, it will be pretty big. I feel like McLeod's playing pretty well in these last two games, though. Oh, no, like, edge cancel into, like, fair or anything. Nah, nobody here plays Nickel Stars Brawl. Nobody in that league plays that game. Oh, he's just down smashing. I feel like McLeod's gonna win this. I think he's uh, on the money today. And he just got the burger power up. Musket, been stuck on stage. Out in the desert. Left out to dry. Probably very hungry right now. Oh, but that dash attack, the up smash is gonna do it. What's up, Tish? Welcome. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for your continued support with the subscription as well, my friend. Oh, but big edge guard from McLeod now. He's looking like he's going to go stock up if he finishes this off, but... Let's get making it back. Just trying to hold this center stage position by putting out some aerials, and he's going to get punished for it. Oh, he actually got a tech on that down smash. It was pretty good, but... Um, he got tech in place and not roll, so he didn't, like, stick to the ground. That's what we like to, that's what we like to hear, Tish. That's it. Oof. Alright, down smash this again. Oh! Back her into dash attack, catching the back side of the shield. McLeod had a pretty good flow chart there, to be honest, on the edge guard, but just didn't work out for him. But the late, sorry, the weak here into up smash is gonna do it. Get these boys a Coca-Cola and stop the fighting lads. I'm not selling my soul to go. Oh my god, he's got sniped. Oscar has, a, like, he's got his last chance at getting this reset right here, right now. Try for the infinite again. Lands with a backer and gets CC down smash. A cloud all over him. Oh, he has to be careful here. Oh, uh, one last chance. Oh, what an angle. What an angle. This is getting really hard for um, Musket to keep interacting because he's just going to end up trading and killing himself. He makes it back to center, but the cloud's moving very well. Oh, he gets hit. This might be it. Oh, he's insane. He almost made that back too, but GG's, everyone. Great games. And Musket going home with first at Cheese Platter. Sorry, McLeod going home with first at Cheese Platter. Why did I say that? Musket going home with second. Raven going home with third. And little old me coming forth. Probably what you expected, but well done to everyone who showed up. Thank you for watching, everyone. Oh my fucking god. Hi, Pelican. Thank you for the raid. What's up, everyone? You just caught the end of Melee at the Cheese Platter. Thank you for the raid, though, Hi, Pelican. Um, congratulations to McLeod. Does the man himself want to speak any words? Yeah, thanks for the raid. Look, guys, if you want to just watch some South Australian Melee, you can follow our social media in chat here. Hit us up on YouTube because that's where the buzz will go. Alright, let's get let's get the boys on. Sit down, sit down, have a take a load off. Well done. What? There we go. Well We're done. doing it. Well done. Well bloody done. 
Yep. There you go. Woo! I feel like these don't have a microphone on it. <laughs> I was like, which side do I put this on? You, you, ah. you, I mean, you did put it on the right side. Hell yeah, I'm so good at this. That's more impressive. It is, the, is that the first time ever musket? Uh, no, second. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, I had the, that was the first time from winners. Hey. Um, which Dude. is good. First time SA tournament without dropping a set with uh, like a decent amount of people attending, which is sick. Word, word. Oh, yeah, I, f I, I feel good about that. Mus musket didn't play you bad. Did well, you did well. The only like he only played bad like when I made him play bad, which is good. Cause I, don't know, I feel good. He That's played yeah. Room played sick too. Oh, Room had me on edge for like a decent amount of that. I'm just like honestly, I don't know. I just love this fucking scene, dude. <laughs> I just show up. It just, Aww, it's just thank fun. You. Like whether I win or not, like I had a blast. Aww. you're a sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad that like you know like uh, running shit like this is kind of worth it. Yeah, like, it really is. Like everyone's really, I don't know. Whether or not, like, you feel internally a certain way, yeah. everyone still kind of shows up and, like... Puts their heart into it. Yeah, it just and makes then, the like, vibes good. It's just... Yeah. It's this sort of cool balance where it's, like, it's both about the people and it's about the competition. Mm. Where it's, like, it doesn't feel like there's a sacrifice here either. Whereas, like, I come here and I'm, like, I love hanging out with everyone. I'd come here just to hang out, but I also love the competition. I'd come here just for the competition. Aww, but it's thank both. You. Thank so you. So it's sick. That's really appreciated. Because, like... Uh, I don't know, like... Uh, from the outside, you could just look at this event and be like, oh, it's just a local. Yeah. Like, nah, it's kind of... I, I, I honestly, I like... This is, like, honestly, these these sorts like of events... I like locals. Yeah, these, like the, locals these events where, like, a bunch of people show up and there's a cool sick stream, thank you, Kai, and it's just, like, the vibe in the audience, like, he hearing the people and then going out for food after, I'm like, this is, like, some of my best memories from here. Aww. So it's sick. I don't know. Well done. Yeah, thank you, man. Well Woo! I feel good. Yeah, I feel good about that one. You're going um, home with a decent pay. Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> Considering it was thirty bucks for the entry, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's all right. I, I, I Those pay beers anyway. aren't gonna it's pay for themselves. It. True, very true. Well, people pay for the beers, but no, I, 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 I absolutely understand why it was, and <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason I paid it, and I'm happy to be here. And I think it was. Well, worth I still it. think you beat. Why? Well, it was twelve, six, so... well, it was twelve sixty thirty-six. I made a dollar. I'm so happy. I, I, no, I don't care. That's sick. I made a dollar. I see. That's hype. <laughs> that is quite hype. Very I, hype. Can, I worked my ass. <laughs> That's the most melee thing. <laughs> you I did work your ass off for one dollar. Great job. And I made a Great dollar. Great fucking job. Great fucking job. Hey, you know what though? Like, uh, our, uh, our boy beautiful. Max rated us at the end, so like a fuckload of people saw you going home with a first. So. Oh, that's sick. Thank you. So, good job. Good job. You did break even. And everyone else did. <laughs> That's true. I took everyone else's money. I still took their money. So, you know, you got it. You got it. You true. fucking got it. I'm sure Muscat's salty about that. I'm sure Ruben's somewhat salty about that. All right, Muscat told me the funniest thing that happened to Ruben when he was, um, he asked, uh, do you need to wait to eat that during the set where he got the burger? And he's like, nah, I don't need to wait to beat you. <laughs> and that just got, apparently that just got Muscat fucking riled up and he just tore through <laughs> Oh That's, my god. <laughs> I love this scene, dude. It's That's so really good. fucking funny. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Oh, uh, anyway, well, that's probably it for me. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Head Thank off, you. Eat food and sleep. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about upstairs. That saved my life. Yeah, I was gonna uh, be like, well, I guess um, you weren't really here when we did the announcement, so you know. Yeah. Just, oh well. I was like, hey, I just got food because I got out. So. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, there's food and it looks edible. Oh, uh, because I'm like, I can't do greasy chicken before, did you, <laughs> before an event. Did you finish all your food before you served? Yeah, I did. I'd, probably oh, a mistake. Shit. I probably should have just no, but you had won. one burger. Yeah, you, you know what? <laughs> no, but you decisions, won. actually, all that matters is results, not the decisions leading to results. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, well anyway, thank congratulations you. Congratulations, brother. Oh, excuse me. Well done. Um... Muscat, you want to say anything? Yeah, <laughs> hop on. Yeah, hop on. Hop on, boy. Well, we well, didn't. Well, we didn't get it quiet this time, but it, oh, yep, yeah. perfect. Well, always. There's always next time. It was a neat little run. Um, it was a fun run. Fun run and losers. Oh, I had to end. Sorry that, that I like. Sorry that I like swore at the end of us set. By the way. What? Well, yeah, no, we, we I was like, just like, fuck's sake! I really got three hundred. Mm. Dude, 
I think said fuck this matchup. I was like, yeah, no, I've been no, there. Because no, no. I've definitely had times where against Falco, I'm like, man, fuck Falco. <laughs> but like, you know, in the moment. It is a... Like, the matchup itself is just one of those things where it's like... Um, like, I don't know. I'm too in, invested in doing every little thing that I can possibly do in every single interaction. Yep. That it's like... Um, my brain just works overtime kind of thing. Mm. And um, when you do play like that, it's like... Uh, when you do try to play like that a lot, it's like... It means that... Like, stupid shit happens yeah. often. Because yeah. you're trying to do everything. Yeah. And it's like, you can't do everything all I, the time. There's times where I'm like... I realize, in like, especially in high-press situations where I'm going to flop... Sometimes you seem to go monkey mode and do, like, up for up smash. Yeah. Like, yeah. on near platform or whatever, and, like, then go from there rather than being like oh I can like up throw then tech chase you know like up air tech chase and a lot of times you just, you just blob it and you end up getting shined or whatever it's like you know, just go for the up smash go for the 17 reset to neutral and try and yeah or like in an advantageous spot because yeah, yeah I think that's what upsets me about the matchup though is that like Fox can do that whereas Falco yeah, really yeah. Falco's can't. like yeah, Falco's yeah. like he gets a shine it's like alright now I have to chase yeah, yeah I have yeah. to yeah. chase and then like when they tick I have to guess right mm -hmm. And then if I get you, if I hit you again, the cycle yeah. repeats. But um, you played really well versus Ruben, actually. I, yeah, I thought I you played pretty so. good. I think so. It was um, especially the in the pressure at the at the very end. Oh, I was choking. Very was, well done. It was like those, that, those last two stocks. I was like, oh no, oh no, because it's Falcon as well. It's like it's so easy just to get hit and die at like sixty. Like get yeah, you know, yeah. and then like get combo, and then you're like, oh, where'd the stock go? Um, so, are you just so? Is like anything going to change in the future with uh, you and Ruben and what characters you play? I, what do you think? I, I, what do you think about that? So, I, all I could think of was the end of our set was like, God damn it! I pulled myself back into another like, no one of these bullshit like counter picking. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm like, oh god. I feel like Ruben realizes what well, like start a game two or whatever when he switched and um I went Fox. He was like, oh, <laughs> he was like, oh, oh wait, yeah, this is still a thing, huh? Like. Um, he forgot. He forgot what it was like. No, the long-term, like, the goal, I thought I was past this, but, like, the goal was to um, get the Fox good enough to just win. Because the Fox can handle the Falcon, like, generally. Mm -hmm. And, like, it, yeah, just today I wasn't feeling, um, wasn't feeling the matchup, and I was like, well, let's break out the old Peach. I've still been playing on Peach on that play, like, at times. Just no, your Peach is um, still, still there. I, I like still, it. yeah. It's like, it's not as nuanced as McLeod's speech. It's not quite as fast, but it still gets the job done decently well in the slow matchup, especially. Um, it was doing okay against the Falcon. It yeah. was like, yeah, it was, some, you know, some gritty, uh, some gritty show grabs by me and some like down smashes where like, say I hit his shield and I go for down smash and he's already out. Like, uh, you know, yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah, where it's like, it's shield pressure, but it's not really actual shield pressure in that spot. Whereas I could be just hitting his shield, um, dashing away and seeing what he does and working from there. You know, like, that's like a common challenge in every fighting game, right? It's mm. like making sure they don't fall out, essentially. Yeah. Like, like don't fall out of whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, does chat have any questions for Musket, actually, while we've got everyone here? Oh, my God. Wow, we have a lot of viewers, well, actually. Because yeah. uh, Hard Pelican hit us with a host. Oh, right, hell yeah. Right as, um, right as McLeod won. Oh, well, so literally, no, no. Like, well, literally you know, the no, tournament ended, no. and then it was like raided. It was no. really funny. Okay, well, you know. but that's all right. I got every. I tried to get people to, to okay. follow. Yep. We'll photo time. Start photos. Photo time. Oh, all photos right, everyone. Well. Ruben's already gone. So. Musky, you're so cool. Oh, How shit. do you do it? <laughs> How do I do Fuck. it? Fuck. Ruben really Look. already left. Ruben literally had to dip. Yeah. Okay. If we oh, go right. drinking, he'll be back later. Okay. Well, um, do you want to take a picture of uh, Musket and McLeod then? Yeah. Yeah. Um, quickly because my phone is close to dying. Oh. All right. Um, I don't know how I do it. It just comes passively, I guess. It's um. No, you definitely well, practice, bro. Right. It's um. Oh no, I mean just you know the general coolness. Oh, true, oh no, yeah, true, coolness. true. true. <laughs> Imagine. True. No, no you do dumb. have to practice be being cool though. That's true. Yeah. Oh, excuse um, me. Anyway, we'll see you stream. Yeah. I'm gonna got photos. So. We're out of here. Yo, here's AirPods. Yo, Bailey. Bailey, you got AirPods or nah? Yeah. Is yours? Alright, dope. Alright, they're up here now. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. My name's been Kaiser. I'm the broadcast director for Couch Warrior South Australia. 
where we run all of our Smash and FGC events in Adelaide. Um, every month we do these Cheese League events at University of Adelaide in the old uni bar. So we run these events every month in old uni bar in Union House of University of Adelaide. So you, if you are watching this and you are from Adelaide and you want to get involved into the melee, FTC or Smash or Smash Ultimate scenes, um, please follow us on Twitter at Kaltori's SA. Follow the. Um, uh, you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. SA Smash TV on YouTube is where all of our archive <laughs> tournament footage goes. Um, and that's where this entire tournament will be uploaded, cut, and uh, split into match VODs. So you can um, search for any player and any character that you saw today or over the weekend. Um, our next event will be in November. The... I think what second Sunday of the month? Anyway, second or third Sunday of the month, follow this channel. Follow Catchwarriors Smash on Twitch. Follow Catchwarriors on Twitch. Follow Catchwarriors SA on Twitter, I already said that. We also have a Facebook page. Um, oh yeah, if you're a Smasher in South Australia as well, you can also go to facebook.com slash groups slash SA Smash. Or you can just search up South Australian Super Smash Bros and you can get involved with the local Adelaide scene. But that's enough babbling from me. I appreciate everyone who's watched. Thank you, Hi Pelican, for the host earlier today. It was very appreciated. It's really good to see everyone this weekend. The vibes were immaculate. Got to play lots of games, sink lots of beers, and that's what it's all about in the end. Um, without further ado, that's gonna be it for me. I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for following today. We got had a few people come through, and that was really appreciated. Um, shout out to everyone who kind of chipped in, made this event possible. Shout out to the man Flowrats um, for being the head venue organizer. Shout out to Taco and Andre for donating some microphone equipment this weekend. Shout out to my partner for let, letting her, uh, letting me use her camera that you're seeing right now. It's a nice one, nice and crispy. Appreciate that. I appreciate all the Ultimate guys being able to run everything upstairs as well. It looks like they had a really good time. If you want to keep watching Smash though, you can head over to Kaltori Smash on Twitch because they might still be going. I might just check everything real quick. But um, yeah, without further ado guys, thank you for watching. My name is Jim Kaiser and I'll see you next time. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and follow me on Twitter at KP Kaiser because I'll always tweet when we go live. Alright, that's going to be it from me. Love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mwah.